Okay, cool. Um, so I'm using a different program to stream tonight, so if you can't hear me or see anything, just let me know, because I'm probably going to sit here for a couple minutes to give people some time to show up and actually figure out where I actually want to start, because there's like a million fucking places I could start here. And none of them are good places because it's it's Lucas. And yeah, if it's quiet now, it's because I've muted it because I'm moving shit around. Because of course I am. So pretty much what this is meant to be, uh, there's nothing, nothing all that fancy, um, but <laughs> hello, but uh, I was looking through my, my analytics earlier in the day and noticed, uh, interestingly enough, that the, the kind of, I don't want to call it bulk uploading because I'm not even a fraction into his channel, but the bulk uploading of uh, Lucas's videos to this archive since he, um, like the mature adult man that he is uh chose to delete his channels uh attracted a lot of attention through the algorithm hello, hello. and uh i went from having you know maybe two or three unique viewers because most of my viewers are from kiwi farms or people who've been here before uh, so i don't get many too many unique viewers it's typically the same the same crowd who are just here that know lucas and are catching up uh, the last i looked over the last like two and a half days there were close to over four thousand people who hadn't been to see any of this shit before um and i've had a few comments of like who is lucas who is this guy so i figured i could do i'll, I'll probably do a more formal one of these that's not alive but i'm bored and it's I'm on board so i felt like just maybe doing it this way uh, so a lot of you, if you if you're people who've been here before, you probably are going to know just about everything I've gone oh, I've gone over here, um, and I'll probably go off track if you've ever been on lives with me before. You know I can never stay on track, especially the um, the further and further I get away from sober, which is going to happen. Probably with drinking today, I actually got a a decent dry sherry to mix with a, and a very good gin, which. Uh, it's sometimes better than vermouth for a martini. I need to remember that it is not um, sweet or lower content alcohol, and I should not chug the glass, so I'm kind of putting it on the far side of my desk. Um, the puppy is still up, but he's on the couch, kind of half asleep and half chewing on a bone. Um, if he gets up and barks, rings bells, whatever, I'm going to have to get him out. The bells you hear in the back aren't in any potential screeching or the old parrot. And that's just what he does. You always have to cope with it. He's 25, and for his species, that's older than average. So he's allowed to make whatever noise he wants. Um, so the first tab I have up here is just the basic thing you get if you Google search Lucas Warner. So the nutshell of Lucas Warner is at the time he sort of went viral, he would have been 37, I think is what the, yeah, 37. And he went into Starbucks, he left what he thought was a 16-year-old barista, and he has now retconned that to see that she was 23. But at the time, all the news stories, including um, including major international news outlets, uh, said 16, or at the very least that he believed she was 16, because you have to be at least 16 to work at Starbucks. Um, and he had previously, you know, hit on younger women, but he wasn't 
super like infamous other than just kind of locally he was sort of known as a creep but anyway he went to starbucks for his hot chocolate and thought the barista was flirting with him because she was being nice to him you know customer service nice and left him a note um we've seen we've not seen that note and that note he left never really came forward but other notes he's left we've seen so it's pretty safe to say he left her a note talking about how she should go out with him because he was a male over 35 which means his sperm has more telomerase um, and longer telomeres which would give their babies stronger dna uh, literally none of that is correct he has just misunderstood some scientific abstracts that he's read and it's been explained to him many times before why uh, that's not correct but he doesn't care and she freaked out she told her manager a, a very very reasonable thing to freak out about um anyway freaked out told her manager and the next day when he went back to get his hot chalky uh he was met with police and they told him that he was no longer welcome at that location and that he needed to leave and if he had been a smarter person that would have been just like a super embarrassing situation that he might have you know complained to friends about but probably would have just wanted to like forget ever happened but he didn't um he already had a I don't even want to call it viral or famous or anything, but he had a fairly decent following on Facebook because he was kind of a a locally known weirdo when he was in Olympia. It was the Olympia atheist. So he was a little slightly minor local weirdo well-known. Yeah, folks. <laughs> um, so how is the sound on this, actually? Because I this is a different program I'm using, and I don't actually know evening so anyway lucas got banned from the starbucks and he went back to facebook all all mad about the ageism and he tried to start a boycott of starbucks for what they did for being ageist saying he didn't do anything wrong 16 was legal <clears throat> it's not not for him not for his age anyway um and that went viral uh, that went really viral, and it went viral in a way that he didn't want, because what he was hoping is it would go viral and everyone would be like, hell yeah, Starbucks ages, you didn't do anything wrong, that girl was a bitch, she shouldn't have reported you. Mm. Exact opposite happened, so you can see, like, here's one of the news stories, I hope this link still works. So yeah, here's the news story from January 3rd, 2017, that talks about it from AP News, I mean, AP News is not a small outlet, um, ejected from the Spark or Starbucks after asking teenage barista for a date. He's and he was claiming it was age discrimination that they banned him. Runs a website which was, I think, at the time his rage conversation. I think that was the one he had at the time. He said like three different versions of the same website. It might have been conversation our age. Um, but he claimed yeah, claims to be a scientist without a degree in science. That was a claim he used to make. Um, actually, I should copy these links so I can add them to the description later because it's probably too small to read on the screen. I have a text editor open for that. The typing is super loud because I do have a fully mechanical keyboard with nice black caps because it makes the sound that I like. The mic picks it up well. Okay, so yeah, AP News had it. The article he just uh, particularly hates is the one from metro but yeah like local um spokes spokesman yeah spokesman reviews is a spokane newspaper um same thing asking tj barista on a date 37 year old man claiming age discrimination uh oh they have, yep, his, so he was at conversation rage at this time that website is no longer there it doesn't work uh, i do have it archived on virtualworm.com if you want to see it but it's really just rambling nonsense um so part of his post that he wrote was, you know, Starbucks requires you to be at least 16. Because of that, he said there was nothing creepy asking for a date. It's a clear case of age discrimination. And it made national headlines. And we can pop over. I think, oh, that one's gone. Well, it used to be on King 5. Uh, there was another article about it. Um, most of the times he didn't come back to comment. Um, I think he commented with somebody once. But let me just see. Yeah, Daily Mail. Here's This is the article he especially hates. Um, the daily mail <laughs> who covered him uh and i mean to be fair the daily mail is a borderline tabloid i mean it's not exactly where you'd want to go for hard-hitting news um but he made international news with this shit. and what he thought would i guess make him some kind of like social justice hero 
ended up just making him infamous for being mad that he got banned for talking about his sperm to a teenager. This was when he was still into millennials and not Gen Z. Um, he got into Gen Z later in 2017. Um, but yeah, they were taking quotes into like, Lucas Warner, who stays at a homeless shelter in Spokane. Oddly enough, he was staying, I think, at House of Charity at this time. He has since been banned from House of Charity for a surprise. Um, the same behavior towards uh, the women that volunteer there and for trying to get into fights with the security guards when they, quote, unquote, cock block him for getting him away. But yeah, they put some of his, me <laughs> some of his memes up. Um, this is, if you go to Kiwi Farms, this is the opening image in the thread um, for his thread. I don't know why he thought that the age of consent... Okay, first of all, if you have to just say, well, the age of consent is, you your argument's already creepy. Um, but in this meme, he seems to be implying that because the age of consent in Japan is 13, which is not really exactly true in the way he's thinking, mm, is somehow directly related to the fact that they have, like, a great rail system in the country. I, I don't know. Then Warner, who hasn't had a girlfriend in five years, it's been 10 now, uh, wrote that he goes on dating websites where he lies about his age to try to speak to girls aged between 18 and 22, but admitted that'll finally catch up to you. I love that they used this picture because that is an insane picture. Uh, but yeah, he he basically went viral and became infamous for um, trying to boycott Starbucks when they kicked him out for hitting on a 16-year-old. And most people, you know, they wouldn't want that to fade away. Um, and Lucas wants you to forget it because he's sick of being asked about it and he doesn't think it was a big deal. But like most creepy ass men who hit on women at work, they don't think it's a big deal. Uh, I broke no laws. I merely took a chance with my heart. I'm tired of hearing the word creep. As any black person or any gay person is tired of hearing certain words, I have a whole web page dedicated to age gap love. Mm. But yeah, for the most part, uh, people on Facebook were praising uh starbucks on starbucks page saying you know you guys did the right thing thank you for standing up to your worker too many women have to put up with this shit oh it's the middle of goddamn winter how is there a gnat in here well, now it's dead okay where the hell did that even come from but yeah this article comes up a lot and there's still comments on it there haven't been comments on it you know recently but this is the main article that he hates he claims it's nothing but lies whatever um Peek over his or his uh, Instagram real quick and see if he's doing anything there. Oh, he's pretending he knows anything about anything what's going on in Ukraine. So we're just going to avoid that because he has just made the wonderful statement of. I'm going to show this just real quick before getting back to the basics of this dumbass. The president of Ukraine is Jewish. How can these be fascists? Is Putin okay? Like, is a person mentally? I mean, the last question. The answer is no, obviously. But he's just, part of what makes Lucas so baffling, frustrating, and interesting is that he has bad ideas that he presents them as, like, this genius stuff. Like, if you're X, you could not be Y. Um, so, like, in this case, he's like, well, if this person is Jewish, how could they be fascist? But that's the type of logic that he uh, that he tends to use. Um, his logic of, um, well, for the way he works with young women is, oh, well, you, like... You like cheese and alcohol. Both of those products are aged, so why wouldn't you want a fucking old man? I mean, that's that's literally how his logic works. He's he's just bad at it. Um, so he's never really given up on that. Um, he kind of comes and goes. He's been in and out of involuntary mental hospital stays. He chooses to not be medicated. The reason he is medicated now is because he is living in an assisted living facility for people with mental and cognitive disabilities, as well as people who have had traumatic brain injuries, and he's forced to take his medication. But it does not change his behavior. It just keeps him from having huge, loud outbursts. Uh, there are DMs of him that you can find in the Kiwi Farms thread from as recent as last week, where he is still trying to manipulate catfish, thankfully. Uh, into meeting him, getting aggressive and abusive with them when they say no, the typical Lucas shit. Um, but the main thing is he is still into underage girls. So for the most part, you know, I don't, I don't give a shit about age gap stuff. Anyone who's been in any of my lives before knows I was married to twenty for twenty years to somebody twenty one years older than me. I don't give a fuck about age gap relationships when both parties are over eighteen, in you know sound mental state and can, can consent to it. Doesn't bother me. He aims at under eighteen. He will tell you that he doesn't, uh, but there are, as 
recently as 2021 that I have DMs that were leaked of him actually trying to lure a 17 year old girl who told him she was 17 and still in high school out during COVID while he was publicly bitching about everybody who went out during COVID to meet him and then later came back and tried to lie in the comments of that video when it got posted that he that they were planning to have sex after she turned 18. She showed up. That one was not a catfish and told him he was lying. And then he just like lost his mind. So he ideally would still aim as young as 16. Um, and not only that, he was kind of, he was cut off by his family for a multitude of reasons, but one main thing that no one's ever been able to get details on. And I'm going to stress this enough. No one should bother his family to try to get details. But um, most of Lucas's family cut him off after some inappropriate things were either done or said towards his, at the time, 11-year-old niece. So Lucas absolutely does aim for children. And that is 100% why I do not feel bad for anything that's ever happened to him and why he deserves everything he gets. He tries to put on this front like he's changed, like he's trying to be a better man. But he still aims for children. Um, and that makes him, I mean, he's too, he's too stupid to be a successful predator. But the fact that he's trying means he deserves everything that he gets. Uh, so Lucas, in a nutshell, is just a uh, a wannabe predator. And uh, he's been at it for years. It doesn't change. Um, this, I'm actually logged in on a different YouTube account here. So this is what you're, if you're not um, subscribed to my channel, the video you see when you stop up and this is when he got kicked out of his last apartment uh so one of his other you know he deserves so much of it and it's why it's hilarious in this particular video um for a while he was saying he didn't understand why he got kicked out of the government housing and he was in government housing um that was basically paid for uh, and left him with a decent amount of money afterwards but um yeah i mean everyone was kind of hoping he changed to some degree you know you always want to see someone change for the better and get their shit together but unfortunately with people like lucas it, it almost never happens um he might get better at faking it but he'll never change so this video that comes up if you're not a subscriber um the one you'll see is him admitting that he sees nothing wrong with exchanging rape for his silence this is what got him kicked out of his last apartment um and this happened in Sometime in 2021, let me pop this up here. Yeah, so May 10th, 2020. So in 2020, um, and he, what he claims happened, and then he claimed we were lying about it for a while, but now he actually um, admits what happened is he thought that there were uh, dealers, either heroin or meth. He's always really obsessed with heroin and meth for some reason. Uh, but he thought there were dealers in his building that were sneaking in hot Gen Z chicks to fuck and get high with and he basically sat out on the stairways of his apartment to basically tell them hey um if you don't want me going to the building management and reporting you for dealing and using give me a girl for sex and i won't um, now first of all the, the place that he was living in was not technically transitional housing but it was housing a lot of the people that were there were there because they just got out of jail they just got out of treatment they just got out of something so they were trying to get back on their feet and some of them may have had previous drug convictions which would mean if they weren't actually dealing or using reporting them for doing that could get them in a hell of a lot of trouble um but anyway it was kind of like the last straw for the building management because lucas had had multiple complaints against him before for leaving creepy notes on the doors from other residents saying he could hear them having sex and was hoping they were having a good time and just generally just shitty creepy things like that and he you know smells bad he doesn't clean um he left the bathroom a filthy mess and um yeah so the final straw was him actually he did actually go to the building management and he told them that these people were dealing and slash or using and i'm pretty sure if he was as dumb as i think he is he probably told them that um they that, that he would you know be fine with it if they were sharing the women because lucas thinks women are property there's something to be shared there's something that men hoard there's something that men keep there's something that if you're socialist or generous you should be giving to him but anyway I'm going to assume everyone in the chat for the moment is probably somebody who knows Lucas. Um, but let's just let's just listen to him admit why he got kicked out of his last place. I hope I have this on and on. Because Christians are the biggest goddamn hypocrites you ever going to meet. Here's an example. I live at a homeless shelter. 
I do this for another number of reasons. I got kicked out of my apartment for reporting heroin users. I harassed them. I said, if you don't hook me up with a chick, I'm going to call the cops. And then they turned around and told the man. So right there, he just said, if you don't hook me up with a woman, I'm going to turn you in for dealing. Yeah, I don't know. This was during, a, I, I can't remember what program I was using to save um, his videos at this point. But there were a few of them from this era that saved at a really fucking weird resolution, and I just never went back and fixed it. I could probably dig the originals out of the channel archives of his that I have, but I really don't care. But, uh, yeah, he, I mean, he just straight up right there said, I I went to building management and, and said that they needed to give me a chick or I'd report them. And he's mad that he got kicked out. Management. And instead of investigating the heroin users they got rid of me and there's like five or six guys at pioneer pathway house and and some women that knew about the heroin and the uh the meth in this spokane apartment complex that i lived in and hated it and the thing is you know what if people are using and they're not bothering you and they're not causing problems around you mind your damn business they're going through enough if they're using drugs you can at least not be an asshole to them i mean constantly complain to the management about the 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 throng of young people coming into this apartment to do heroin with the people that lived there or to smoke meth it's worth noting he doesn't and didn't ever have any proof of this this is just what he thought was going on in his mind in his mind that would be the only reason they wanted to hang out with those people was because they were getting drugs out of it. and maybe that was true but he, the thing is, he didn't have any proof of it. That's just what he made up in his head. Uh, he makes a lot of stuff up in his head, if you're new to Lucas. Um, he will imagine conversations that never happened. He will see situations that never happened. He will see, things, he'll just like see or hear. The, it's shit he makes up in his head, and to him it's a reality. It's like maladaptive daydreaming, more or less. But no, we are the problem. I said, give, give me a girlfriend or I'm going to report you. Don't act like you're not doing hard drugs. Because 5-0, you tell me any of your bullshit and you have girls, 5-0 will be called. Lucas A. Cab Werner. 911. Zoomers, you really need to stop putting your shit on blast. Keep your shit private because guys like me will say, "Oh, Okay, that's another thing for people who are new to Lucas. You see in a lot of his videos that he seems to be like real twitchy, like looking around like some kind of fucking tweaker. He's looking around like that because he does these videos in public for the most part. And he has occasionally been confronted or been kicked out of places uh, for screaming at his phone in public or people like stop and stare at him like, what the fuck is your problem? So when he's standing around or walking around and he's looking real twitchy, he's not really high or anything. He's just looking around to see if anybody's staring at him. Oh, give me a girlfriend or I'm calling the cops. If you don't like it, don't fucking talk to me. Because any criminal activity that I know about that you do and you have chicks, I want a chick. Or I'm calling the police. Like, I don't give a fuck. Just like how gross is that? He was in a phase of this too. It was like if you if you have women and you're doing stuff that I know is illegal and you don't give me a woman to assault, I'm gonna call the police. Like, what the fuck? But this, this is what he's like. This is his personality. And he will claim on all of these now. He's like, oh, I was off my meds. I was off my meds. The problem is he acts this way on his meds. He's just smart enough to keep it to DMs that he hopes won't get leaked. Um, but all his meds do is basically make him not lose his temper in ways that we find hilarious. But behind the scenes, he is still absolutely disgusting. And I've got the farms thrown up in another tab. Uh, that I can bring some of those screenshots up to look at uh, after this video. And also because I am using something that I don't know how to use, I can do this now. And allegedly have other people on, but I honestly don't expect me to know how to use that or make it work because I have no fucking idea. But yeah, it, it wouldn't even be wasting your time for calling 911. I mean, he might just get a citation for that, but. Oh, he has been getting catfished. The last woman he told off and was an absolute asshole to was from, like, last week. Yeah, the memes demanding that he give you a... Give him a girl, give me a girl, or I'll call the police. Basically, give me, give me, give me, stop hoarding women, they're not your property, share the wealth. It's like the, He doesn't view women as people, if you haven't figured that out.
I mean, all of y'all have probably figured that out, but anyone who probably has not figured that out. But that's the problem. Christianity worships material possessions and money. Oh, it doesn't? What about the fact that I live in a homeless shelter? Non-sequitur there. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, he, he's also one that, for people who are new to Lucas, that tends to go on about Christianity a lot, despite being an atheist. Uh, he tries to use, um, I guess, reverse psychology. Misquoting and cherry-picking Bible verses, shocker, to say, well, you should be dating me and, and not some guy with more money than me, otherwise you're a hypocrite and you'll go to hell. And it, it's just ridiculous, stupid logic, but he continually does try it. I actually prefer living in the homeless shelter because at least there's company there and I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a lie. He was miserable there. Nobody liked him and he was constantly getting in trouble for recording videos, including in the shower areas. Surrounded by people, alone in isolation felt like suicide. The only thing keeping him in isolation was himself. Um, when he had his apartment, there was no reason he couldn't go out. He just didn't uh, because he has pre-crippling social anxiety. But around other people, even if they're Christians, even if there are a lot of right-wing Christians, even if some are mean-spirited, at least if I go there, I, I keep to myself, I'll have company, and I won't have to deal with the isolation that you Christians... God, I wonder if I uploaded the foot cream one. I know it's cued, but I can't remember for which day. Um, but for anyone who doesn't know what the rub the foot cream on his face uh, was talking about, this here. Um, so... <laughs> Somebody convinced Lucas to rub uh, a mildly acidic foot cream, which is fine to use on your feet and like on calloused areas, but not like one that you should use on your face. And he slathered it like fucking all over his face and was like red and puffy for several days after that because he gave himself a mild chemical burn. So that was that was fun. Just put me through by not being Christ-like towards me. Where are the women at, greed mongers? Matthew 6, 24, greed mongers. Luke 12, 15, greed mongers. Oh, but you're left wing. But your dude has to have more money than a dude that lives in a home. And this is an argument that he's been using for years. Uh, he doesn't seem to understand. I mean, he doesn't seem to. He doesn't understand that the problem isn't money or that he's homeless or, or any of these things. The problem is he's just predatory, violent, and narcissistic. Homeless shelter. Fuck you, hypocrite. Mark 23 talks about Mark 23 for me for the longest time was the biggest pet peeve. I am ordained. Like I went to school for that shit for no other reason other than I could afford it and it was fun and I wanted to be able to argue with people and tell them I was ordained. Uh, Mark 23 doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Like it just it's not there. It doesn't exist. So yeah. Fucking Mark 23. How, how much Jesus hated religion and hypocrisy, and yet you continue to practice it? This is why there are so many atheists now. It's your goddamn runaway capitalism, bullshit corporatism. You worship money and not God shit, where atheists are like, you know what? You're a bunch of hypocrites. But atheists, where are you at? I'm pretty sure atheists don't claim him either. He... He's a lot like most other neckbeards in the sense that he's kind of an edgelord atheist and it makes him think that he's superior intellectually to everybody else because he's seen the truth, which is an oddly religious way to behave, but whatever. He'd probably... <laughs> he would probably just scream and yell about ageism and all that shit. Yeah, so... Lucas's um, Lucas's arguments about uh, or why he's an atheist are just great. But his main argument for people who don't know is that because he doesn't have a girlfriend, it's proof that there's no God. I am always, always going to maintain that the proof of any sort of loving God, goddess, whatever you want to call it, the proof that it exists is him being perpetually single and hated by women. Um, they're just being protective of women and that making Lucas just so thoroughly unappealing that they wouldn't even go near him. Yeah, that's totally, totally, totally it. 
Well, yeah, and this this too, you know, it is for Lucas specifically. Like normally, I would not laugh at or troll at somebody who was mentally ill and homeless and whatnot. But Lucas is a fucking pedophile and an overall terrible, violent person. And even when he's on meds, he is. He just doesn't scream as much when he's on meds. Uh, but the underlying thought processes and everything that he has are the same. He is, if it weren't for his like gimpy, dying, diabetic feet, uh, he would potentially be dangerous if he ever managed to lure somebody alone. But yeah, he's yeah. Uh, this one actually, he does he, he the, this comment here. Um, he he usually is. Um, so Lucas is really into pickup artists, even though he doesn't admit it most of the time. Partially, this was just whatever program I used to download this video. Um, downloaded the aspect ratio weird but lucas frequently will do videos where the camera is below him and aiming up at him and at first i couldn't figure out why he did it because it's super unflattering um but if you watch pickup artists uh pickup artists will tell you to put your camera lower than your head so it's like it's so it's like your viewer is looking up at you because that is a quote unquote alpha slash dominant pose that's why he holds the camera at such weird angles where you can see up his nose all the time is he thinks it makes him look dominant. Lucas is the most submissive bitch I have ever run against though. He is, <clears throat> he is the opposite of, of anything relating to dominant. Like he pretty much cries. If anyone stands up to him, he's not dominant in any way, shape or form. He is a little bitch of a beta. Hypocrites. You worship money? Is that your God? Oh, you can't kick it with me because I'm 20 years older than you. Around people, I'm pretty much the calmest, most quiet dude in the room. Do you have any evidence that I'm not? Or are you just going to be a shit talker against Ephesians 429 against gossip? Oh, so you're an atheist but you're still going to be worse than the Christians or the same level as the Christians that do nothing but talk shit. So he's not bitching about why he got kicked out anymore, but basically this is where he, he admitted that he got kicked out because he tried to blackmail them for sex. So for most people who learn about Lucas early on, it was through the Starbucks incident, right? Getting back to, I told you I was going to ramble. Um, yeah, allegedly he ghosted them. Um, he was saying like he couldn't get Wi-Fi, but he was like mooching uh, his Wi-Fi off of his roomie's hotspot, and his roomie just like went MIA. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Lucas was too afraid to, you know, whatever. Um, so apart from the Starbucks thing, um, and I kind of vaguely knew about Lucas from the Starbucks thing, but it didn't really it didn't really catch my interest. It was just like a passing creep going viral. But a couple of years later, um, his infamous right now, right now, right now, right now rap came up. So we're going to listen to that next, because this is still honestly one of my favorites. Uh, Luke is trying to rap. And um, this made him go, I guess, semi-viral again. And he was on Tosh.0, oh, which I'm not going to play the clips from Tosh.0 oh, um, just for copyright reasons, but they are out there. Um, he took a couple of clips of Lucas trying to like beg for a date and you know, obviously made it a comedy skit. But uh, I think right now, right now, right now, right now, we're going to do the thing that actually got me into looking into who the fuck this weirdo was. I want an adult hottie in my lap right now, under 26 right now, no frills, no excuse, big titties and intelligence. I don't care if she's a hood rat. Big titties and intelligence. At punk rock or any kind of anything. As long as she's hot and here right now on my 37 year old dick right now, 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 right now. For five years of never having anything as everybody else gets laid. The gray hair beers use the research on telomerase. Did I put out a. Okay, so this is another thing in this. I hate dissecting a Lucas rap, but this was the time when he had that conversation rage website where he was misunderstanding an abstract of a bunch of different papers, most notably um, one by Dan Eisenberg. Um, what animal is making smells in this room? Oh my god. Wow, I got hit by animal smells. So, uh, where the hell was I? Oh, the Dan Eisenberg paper and whatnot. He, so he had this shit up on his webpage, and anytime he would see a, um, a guy that he perceived to be older with a woman that he perceived to be, like, Gen Z or, or millennials at the time, 
it never crossed his mind that that might be his daughter, his granddaughter, uh, niece, whatever. He would always assume that they just they were a couple. And then not only would he assume they were a couple, but that they were a couple because the older dude found Lucas's webpage and was using that research to get laid. So eight months ago, and then you just go with that hoe. Why won't you go with me? I don't need that question answered. I need it right now, 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 right now. After three thousand dollars of giving food away to the homeless, I think I deserve it. I think I'm entitled bloke, and I think that I yeah so this this rap is kind of on the realm of like ice ice baby if you're from the 90s like if you're from the 90s you probably still have ice ice baby memorized even though it's terrible and you hate it um this this rap is yeah i have most of this memorized and, and i kind of low-key hate myself for it it now i'm not going to believe in your god or any nonsense i'm not going to believe in satan either i just want to hear right now right now right now right now right now i've given a lot away as an atheist and an anti-theist i've done everything that i can i've lost 200 pounds and i've dropped from 5x to an xl i've gone through that 2007 to 2017 and i've given everything that i could away i moved 418 miles and yes i am entitled to it yep he's entitled to it he's entitled to a young girlfriend because he commits EBT fraud, and because he got catfished from Olympia to Spokane. I never say Spokane in the same way twice because I'm trash. Stop opening these terms with me, you big age phobe. We need to get rid of this age phobia from chicks under the age 26 because of telomeres research. Since it's the father is 35 to 55, the kid will live longer, have longer telomeres, the intelligence more fitter. More intelligence, more fitter. Way to show off your short brain telomeres here, bud. We need to get rid of it. Like we need to get rid of incest and pedophilia. We need to get rid of it right now. Right oh, now. you're only having sex. Your telomeres are abundant. You're just going to get stressed and anger and make everybody depressed and stressed and angry as you roll with the guy and just go fly. And later in life, you have cancer. What I really love about this, this was his kind of thing for a couple of years saying, you know, if you, if you date someone or have sex with someone in your own age range, you'll be depressed and angrier and all that shit and like he's saying this while he's shouting at the camera yeah it's kind of weird that he forgot his like rap because he typically is reading off of his uh this time he was using a kindle he's typically reading off the screen but apparently he got a little tripped up there i want a hottie in my lap right now right now right now right now 18 year old big tits doesn't matter the subculture right here right now in spokane right now to go out with me on a date right now like, why would he just not cut off the end of it? Oh, God, that's a disgusting... Mm. I don't care for that. Let's see if there's some good ones here. Because the main thing with Lucas is he just doesn't change. Um, so this has been a thing. Most of these videos from his older channel are from, like, 2017. And they go up through 2020 because he did have two channels. Um, yeah, he did have two channels. There's some on the, the old Wern channel that I haven't even gotten around to uploading yet. And a good chunk of them now are, are archived on my channel because for a while he was only posting to Instagram and his Instagram was private. Uh, so you couldn't see it if you weren't friends. I've been friends with him on Instagram on three different accounts since 2019. Um, oh, yeah, the gritting of his teeth and the gnashing of his big old composites. Actually, you're saying being a sociopath. God, I just hate that. Man. Just he's, you don't want to say somebody has a punchable face, but Lucas just has a punchable face. He just has a really fucking punchable face. Like, you can't look at that face and not just at least want to backhand him. Oh, yeah, here's the one where he's hitting on a 17-year-old. And this, again, you all have seen this before, but um, Lucas hitting on an actual 17-year-old. I'm not trying to pick up preteens. Are you? Mm, get your hand out of my face. I'm about to punch this computer screen. If you don't um, shut up, if you don't shut up, I'm not knocking you to hell. Fucking freak. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. How about this? Your mother. So that was part of, he did some streams from Malin Place for a while. Um, and most of them are honestly just really boring because he's really heavily medicated. But um, someone got to him in that one. And, um, yeah, he just, 
for somebody who's not into really, really young girls, he gets really, really offensive or offended when that happens. Real defensive. Um, that, I think that was a screenshot up on Kiwi Farms in the early days. He was really into like talking about anal sex and anal fisting. And for those new, the reason Lucas is so into fisting is because he has a micro dick. And that is not me being like rude or catty or bitchy or whatever. There are fucking pictures of it that he sent and put out there, which I'm not going to show on screen. I would get banned for that. Uh, but if you do want to see them, they are in the Kiwi Farms thread. And I'm not joking when I tell you that my thumb is longer than he is fully erect. Uh, and the pictures that are on, uh, on Kiwi Farms and one set, uh, there's a big old Mercosaur right near the head of it. Uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend looking those pictures up because I thought, oh, ha, 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 this will be funny. And I desperately wish I could unsee what I saw because, first of all, like the weight he's at, he wouldn't be able to find it without like hoisting his gut out of the way. And even then, a thing ain't long enough to get in anywhere. So that's kind of why he's, um, you know, into fisting because, you know, he's got them skinny arms and his dirty, nasty hands. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, same, honestly. It barely counts as a teeny weeny. Barely, it's just, like, I wouldn't show that to anybody if, if that were mine. I'd, I'd just be like, oh, yeah, I had a really bad accident. Face diaper, face diaper, face diaper. And Lucas gets really mad when you call him greedy, because um, one of the things Lucas uh, is so obsessed about is showing that he's not greedy, that he's generous. And he's just not. Um, he makes big productions out of leaving half-eaten food for other homeless people, uh, leaving little bits of candy laying around like some kind of creepy-ass predator trying to lure kids into his van. Um, and the thing about people who are generous is they don't broadcast it. They just do what they do. They're not looking for praise on it. He's looking for praise. <laughs> I mean, this is this is right. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. He's just he's. There's no fucking way. He's he would have to like go into a cup, get a baster, and hopefully get it that way. Um, uh, because yeah, there ain't no way it's reaching. Um, so Lucas is basically just uh. He goes in, in a series. So depending on when you find out about Lucas and where he's at in the point that he's at, um, sometimes he seems more normal than others. Like when he's calm, he's he's got bipolar one. And I'm going with bipolar one because that's the most recent diagnosis he's admitted to. And bipolar one cycles. Um, when he's in his manic phases, he's generally where he's like yelling and freaking out and, and going nuts. But that's easy to pass off as like, oh, well, he's being bullied and he's just freaking out. So it's it's reactive to abuse, but it's not. It's just him in a manic phase. Um, when he's in his depressive phases, he can actually appear kind of pitiable. He's like, oh, no, I'm being stalked and harassed by these people. And they never leave me alone. I don't understand why. I just want a girlfriend. And he's hoping people never do a deeper dive into who he is. Uh, because if they do, they will see that the women he targets are women that are in some way vulnerable that would need a place to stay. Because one thing he used to offer was, you can stay with me for free as long as you're fucking me. Um, or, you know, if, if you let me move in with you, I'll do all the house cleaning. And then there's the implication that we have to fuck. Um, so he he's very bad at being a predator, which is about the only positive thing I can say about him. Uh, because if he were to actually get a hold of anybody, he would definitely assault them and probably kill them. And yeah, he's extraordinarily narcissistic. I kind of want to watch a meltdown. Oof, looking a little swollen in that one. See, there's that time he thought I apologized to him. Right next to it, the time he thought Walter apologized to him. Uh, and Lucas did these live streams while, but yeah, this... This is the one that, and we watched this one before on stream, but it's always good to play again because this right here, and Lucas again will claim he's not on his meds, except he did have meds at this point. Um, the reason he didn't get into the uh, first transitional housing he had applied for was because he hadn't set up his outpatient care, but he had meds at this point. 
Um, so keep that in mind. He had meds and he was either choosing not to take them because that's what's always happened before. So he gets meds and he chooses not to take them invoking a Patients' Rights Act of 1993. Um, oh, yeah, the whole I'll call the cops if you're talking to other men. If you're in my apartment, you're my girlfriend. It's like, Jesus, fuck, Lucas. But, yeah, narcissistic rage warns. But, and it's not even a true classic. It's actually his real personality on display. This is what he's like in DMs behind closed doors. Um, this is how he acts. This is how he treats people. And there are tons of, if you actually go to the Kiwi Farms, but especially on the first few pages of it, there are tons of DM screenshots of him with people who were catfishing him that show this type of personality. And I'm going to skip around in this video because it's long, but look at him eat the noodles. It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insult. And I got the internet and a lot of free time. Right about that. So the actual rage, there's him crying in the park. Maybe we'll come back to him crying in the park to just laugh at it later. But where he really starts to have his meltdown is near the end here. This was the one where he was also asking for a gay guy to come and hook him up. Weeks, and I was at Foothills for two weeks. But LGBs. Actually, let's listen to him beg a gay guy come to hook him up. Uh, I need someone, I need a gay dude from the LGBT community to come down. Okay, and you can see him looking around there because he's near a bar. He's sitting at, I think, an abandoned grocery store, but there's bars across the street and nearby. So he is actually looking at people walking by to see if any of them are paying attention to this bullshit that he's spouting. Here and to help me hook up with one of these sluts before the, the night. Sluts, you know, a thing that only misogynists would say in Lucas's, you know. Close this out. I'm uh, at the 24 by the Rydler, the 24 uh, hour grocery store. Uh, that no is no longer open across the street from Cochinito, just sitting here. And this is also worth keeping in mind to people new to Lucas who probably will run into this later. This is what his personality is actually like. Um, and this, and he is not off his meds here. He just got out of stabilization. They sent him off with meds. He has meds here, and this is what he is like. Help me find a slut for tonight, because half these women are for slutting around, and half the women are for uh, finding true love. But uh, send a gay guy down here that will actually help me. Yeah, send a gay guy down, y'all. What's the matter with you? Get laid tonight. I can't go to the bars because I don't have an ID card. So he couldn't go to the bars because he didn't have an ID. Then when he got an ID, he claimed he couldn't go to the bars because of COVID. And then when it was like, oh, well, COVID's not that bad in your area, he's like, oh, I can't go to the bars because they don't have money. So he always has an excuse. But I would like to because they got stolen. I've been talking about this on YouTube all week. It's boring, pedantic, and and and, and, and it's sketchy. And I don't even know how to talk right. Just send a gay guy down here to outside the 20... Just send a gay guy. Just send a gay guy. They know how to talk to the bitches. Before store by the Ryder across the street from Cochinito, or somebody, a slut, that wants to fuck. Send a gay guy or a slut. He did not specify the gender of the slut, so. Me right now. I need the LGBT community because I'm straight in Generation X and don't know how to hook up with the sluts and, and the women that know true love. It's Generation Socialist, and they're going with guys with cars. It doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. I need So Lucas, again, for people new, can never... And part of it's his narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, but part of it is he, he can never admit that the problem might be him. So if women don't want to fuck him, and this is just classic incel logic, um, if women don't want to fuck him, it's because he doesn't have a nice car or he doesn't have nice clothes or he doesn't have a nice house or a house in general or he's an atheist or he's older. It's literally everything other than, hey, he just has a shit personality. But this is a constant. This is something Lucas has been going on. If you go back and some of the real vintage stuff, like from the time Suzanne kicked him out, he's always had this mindset that the problem is never him. Some wubble up. I need some beauty. I need some love. God, he did not just say wubble up. Fuck you. Oh. I don't care if it's cringe or mood or salty or what. Just sit. 
Luke is trying some Gen Z slang that he doesn't know how to use. Not a surprise. There's so many down here that's a hot chick that's going to fuck me. Or a, uh... See, I'm as far back to Lucas because there was that nasty, nasty grease stain on the wall behind his bed that he never cleaned. And anytime anyone would point it out, they were just like, he was just like, it was there when I moved in. So fucking clean it, you disgusting animal. A, a guy that's gay that'll give me some good advice because I'm a straight ally and I. Send a guy that's gay to give me some good advice on fucking women because I'm an ally. Does he aware that men who are, are gay don't typically fuck women? And if they are fucking women, they're generally, you know, bi or pan, not gay? I really need your fucking advice. Uh, I don't want your email. It, it's not, it's not going to help me. Just come down here and help my ass because I'm, I'm useless without the LGBTs. No, man, you're just useless. I mean, useless with other... I like how he's the LGBs and he just uh, doesn't seem to think the rest of them exist. But he's also the same person who said he would date a trans woman if she could have kids, which... <laughs> the tech ain't quite there yet, bud. You guys always help me out of my situation. Or send a slut. One of the two. Fantastic. Yeah, Lucas thinks he's an ally. He thinks he's a straight ally. He thinks he's a white ally. Uh, he thinks he's a feminist ally. He's virtue signaling. It's just virtue signaling. That would be fantastic. Fantastic. It's been nine years without getting laid. And they, <laughs> they're slutty and go with anybody. They're slutty and go with anybody. Clearly, that Wubba Lub is a fucking Rick and Morty reference, I think. Which I, I've watched enough Rick and Morty to know I don't really like Rick and Morty. But I think that's what it's from. I don't know. I'm just an old, out-of-touch Gen Xer. But not me, apparently. Drop the apparently you dumb fuck. It's never going to be you. Just come down here and do this IRL so I don't have to go alone anymore. You think you're lonely, Gen Z. Gen Z doesn't think Gen Z is lonely. Uh, yeah, Lucas thinks virtue signaling is an alt-right term for some reason. Bullshit. Okay, so for anyone who hasn't seen this before, and I'm sure everybody in this chat has seen this before, um, this is... Uh, this is um, a very very, very classic narcissistic rage. Um, this is one where he is legit um, yelling about how he's going to kill himself if you don't come and sleep with him. Um, and he sees nothing wrong with this, nothing manipulative, nothing manipulative about this. Um, he thinks this is actually going to gain him sympathy of a Gen Z woman who is going to want to save him. Oh, and it's loud, so if you have headphones, you might want to turn your volume down. I know I just got out of Kalispell Stabilization. I was there for two weeks, and I was at Foothill for two weeks. But they fucked up. They said I would have a place to live at the Oxford House, and I had to do an interview. I've been sleeping on the street. I'm seeing all the sluttiness around. This is the screaming one. I can back it up to the crying in the park one where after the three singing and sobbing in the park. because That's just fucking funny. The Ryler, and it's all over Friday and Saturday nights in Spokane. But they don't want to save my life. They don't want to like sleep with me. Their age gap and with. So what he's implying here, for those who haven't seen it, is that if you don't want to sleep with him, you're actively telling him to commit suicide, and that he will commit suicide if you don't fuck him. All these millennials. Old dudes, these Zoomer chicks, they're age gapping with the baby boomers, they're age gapping with Generation X, but they don't want to save my life from suicide. I should note this is auto normalized um, by the editing software that I use. This was um, this was beyond redlining my audio mixer on its original state. This is quieted down. If you can believe that. I don't understand. They're usually so nice and generous and cool and kind. But these hot women don't want to save my fucking life after I preached age gap love for five years. So that's why he thinks that he deserves a Gen Z girlfriend is because he had this stupid website that basically misused research that even the people who wrote the paper were so sick of being name dropped that one of them sent him a C and D and the others publicly said, you know, hey, you're not understanding this. 
but he thinks that he is owed a young girl because he's been preaching age gap love between generation x and generation z and now it's mainstream on post street and all over this town and that's worth noting where he just said post street right there because he will go back and forth between where are the women at where are you hiding the information why are you hoarding the women's like bitch they're on post street you're just too much of a pussy to go up and talk to anyone because you're a smelly homeless man with well you got rotting diabetic feet and you can't actually walk around much right now anyway but hey Let's go back to saving my life from his life. My life is safe from suicide. But you guys just leave me stranded here like a dumb motherfucker. You are a dumb you motherfucker. You don't have any fucking love. The problem is you. No. The problem is you. I love Wrong. you, but I hate you because you're beautiful and, 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 and you're attracted with those nice fucking thick thighs, those in, that intelligence, that beauty, that charm, that wit, that candor. But you, don't, you women don't give a fuck about me. You're just a bunch of bougie assholes. Hey, puppy, what's your name? Okay. They go with the guys with the car and the money and the credit cards. We're talking about how you socialist. Socialist. Or communist or anarchist. Bullshit. Save my life from suicide. Because I have to go to stabilization tonight. Because I've been sitting here crying. As none of these women have given a damn about me in Spokane. So... Keep in mind, he's sitting in a very public place. You can hear people talking in the background. Could you imagine just, like, walking down the streets of downtown Spokane, and you see this dirty, smelly fucker just, like, sitting by the side of an abandoned grocery store, crying because 18-year-olds don't want to fuck him. Like, I'd keep walking. I mean, granted, I probably would have stopped to sort of film it, but... For the most part, I can see why someone who would want to just, like, walk the fuck away. Let me go back in this one and find where he's crying in the park and singing. Because this is also another good uh, manipulation tactic that he tries to use. Oh, but I love you, and I don't understand why you're treating me this way. And I know most of you have seen this before, but as part of, like, Lucas 101, this is very, very Lucas. And he is, again, I should remind you in these videos... He is medicated. He is on medication. He was just released with medication. This is his personality. A bunch of Republican atheists. It doesn't make any. Not that Gross far and enough. Dumb. Gross and dumb. I hate it. I absolutely. Here we go. Summer bays. You say stupid ass shit. You and you say, "Oh, I hate you," and then you brush the hair out of my side. Out of out of your face, you know what I mean. You so here's for those who don't understand. Lucas cannot read body language well, which is also one of the reasons that I'm 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 pretty sure he's autistic. I know not everyone on the farms agrees with that, but to me, he seems like he's someone who's on the spectrum. He he cannot read body language on people, uh, especially women. Like somebody brushing their hair, like like I when my hair is long, I do that as just like a. It's not even a nervous tick. It's just a keep it out of my goddamn face. If I don't tie it back. It has nothing to do with what I'm thinking. It's just an unconscious habit. But a lot of people, when they brush hair out of their face, yeah, it can happen when they're shy and being flirty. But if they're being confronted by someone who's twice their age, smells like onions and piss, is clearly homeless, and is talking to them about their magic sperm, that is an uncomfortable placating gesture. That they're trying to show, okay, I'm harmless. I can't hurt you. Please don't hurt me. It's not them being into you, you stupid, creepy his smelling fuck. You say, oh, I hate you. You smile. Apparently, I'm a mean drink tonight. Maybe I should switch to weed. And you brush the hair on your face. All that turns me off. As soon, as soon as you open your fucking mouths, you're saying hateful things, which turns me off. If I had a boner at the instant where you said, I hate Okay, so onions and piss comes from an older uh, screenshot or post or something in the Kiwi Farms thread where somebody who has allegedly met him said that he smells like onions and piss, <laughs> if you weren't aware of that. You. Even if you're brushing hair out of your face, because that's a sign that you like me, I'm instantly turned off and don't want to talk to you. You give me mixed signals, and it makes me... It's not mixed signals, you anymore. stupid fuck. You're fucking retarded, Zimmers. Ooh, dropping some slurs. You that's going to turn me on? No, it isn't. Fuck you're me. not trying to. You're fucking idiots. Be real. I hate liars. I hate sarcasm and shit. It's fucking dumb. You're being fucking... So he hates sarcasm, 
uh, largely because he doesn't understand it. Which, apparently I am a mean drunk tonight, so I'm switching to weed. I haven't even had that much to drink. I haven't even, not even half of this thing. Well, it's interesting to note if you make a martini with sherry, it actually tastes like you put olives in it. I've never done that before. It's actually pretty good. But um, yeah, I'm getting a little getting a little be a snappy drunk tonight, so I'm gonna switch to something that makes me less less snappy. I mean, I, I'm honestly not in a bad mood. Apparently, I'm just real aggressive tonight um, towards Lucas with a little bit of alcohol, and I haven't had a drink in a while, so it's I'm a fucking lightweight, I guess. Shame on me. What were we doing? All right, Lucas. You're fucking gross and dumb. Lucas calling anyone gross and dumb. Jesus Christ. I hate it. I hate it. I absolutely fucking hate <laughs> it. I hate it when you say, I hate you, and you put your hair out of your fucking face. So, I don't know if you can understand his distort, distorted screaming, but he said, I hate it when you say, I hate you, and you brush your hair out of your fucking face, because he thinks in any circumstance that a woman brushing her hair out of her face, no matter what she's saying, no matter what her body language is saying, means that she's flirting. And smile! And I hate it when you fucking laugh! I mean, if you're gonna, like, take me out to drink, yeah, I'm probably gonna be a cheap day. <laughs> uh, I suppose that depends, because I'm not gonna drink bottom shelf liquor, I'm not fucking Lucas. You know, it might only take a drink or two, but you're buying top shelf. I hate this! You're too fucking confusing for looking that good. No one gives a fuck off. Little beta rager. Yeah. Okay, so here's where he starts with uh, the, the crying. So it's hard to see on the screen uh, in the video here, but if you actually watch the, the video and turn your brightness up, he's laying on his back in a park because he was homeless, homeless at this time, and he's banned from pretty much every shelter in Spokane. Um. And this happened in August, so he wasn't, like, in any danger sleeping outside and out of them from, like, other hobos. Um, but we'll listen to him cry for a couple minutes. Why can't I convince you of anything, Jesse? Why? I'm an age gapper. Are you just a bunch of Republican atheists? It doesn't make any fucking sense. You go with the greedy guys multiples at a time. You go with every other dude but me. You go with the Gen X dudes on post and in this tango. And I've been preaching age gap love in this pattern for five years because of my love. What are you? What are you? Just conservative atheists? I am Gen X. I don't know what to do. I don't have the money to know what to do. What would burn? So Lucas's mom is kind of to blame for some of this um, because of the way she raised him. Now my dumbass just forgot to hit the mute button because I'm smart and I've been drinking and now I've been smoking. Y'all are going to have to give me a pass on that. It went out for all of you because I bumped the mute button. Um, so Lucas's mom is kind of to blame, blame for this. Um, when he was little, based on her blog posts, anytime that he had like a disappointment, she would basically either shove junk food in his face and and or would soothe him by saying well honey it's not your fault people are just mean you know you're a wonderful perfect angel you're my perfect little man blah 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 and to a degree i get that like no mother like no decent mother anyway wants to see their kid be excluded their kid be hurt you know their kid be um made fun of bullied anything so i get that but if you don't like teach your kid that sometimes, hey, when somebody doesn't like you, sometimes it is your fault. When you fail, sometimes it is your fault. 
you get an adult like Lucas who can't who can't cope with the idea that any of their problems, any of their failures, anything could possibly be in any way their fault. I mean, most mothers, when they do that, they mean, well, they just don't want to see their kid get hurt. Um, but in but in the long term, you know, if something is your kid's fault, you need to find an age appropriate way to explain to your child why that is and what they can do to help prevent it from happening again. But Lucas is, yeah, um, Lucas's mom, I'm pretty sure, tried the best she could, but she ended up being a big, big reason of why he's the way he is and why he can't cope with any sort of failure. What do you do? What do you do? How do we... Bernie and AOC would just kind of get their security to get between you and them and walk away. All this soulless world. What is the matter with this country? How do we change this? Yeah, basically what she did was all four paw declaw a cat and then throw it out. <laughs> you just seem like fascist meets atheism because there's no way I can convince you. I have such trouble trying. So, so Lucas didn't really get on to meds that he stayed on for any sort of length for a long time. He was briefly on them in the early 2000s, but whenever he decided he didn't need them, and then that is, having been on several psych meds myself, that is a kind of insidious side effect of psych meds, is that when you start feeling better and you start feeling normal again, what your brain does is go, oh, oh, this is fixed. I don't need the meds anymore. And then you go off the meds and you spiral. And a lot of people do fall into that cycle. And Lucas, unfortunately, fell into that cycle a lot. And also the underlying problem with Lucas is even with meds, his disgusting desire to fuck a child is still there. I'm tired of your fucking noise and your hypocrisy and your greed and your money and your love of power. But so are you and you're giving multiples and multiples, seven girlfriends a week. <laughs> I can't check you with your Christianity. I can't check you with your socials and communism or anarchism. You just keep going down this hypocritical road. Why? What are we doing Reach your soul your yeah, meds don't fix pedophiles. The only thing that fixes pedophiles are methods that I can't say on a stream or I will get a strike against my channel. But in short, pedophiles are not fixable. Your mind. What do we do? <laughs> Why do I have to be in love with you? Why can't I just let this go? Like fascist atheists, it doesn't make any sense. And I'm an atheist. <laughs> as soon as I say you're not alone, you go somewhere else. <laughs> as soon as I say we need the people in power, you just ignore me. It doesn't make any sense. It's like fascism meets atheism. It doesn't make any sense. Z, you make no sense. <laughs> oh, God. Why do I have to love you when you're so unnecessary? You're so hypocritical. You make no sense. So, yeah, that's him sobbing in the park. Um... So this is the thing, Lucas, back in the day, and there's other videos of this up, posted to Facebook several times about he was a non-offending pedophile. Um, and he just kind of left it that. He claims it's a joke, but nobody believes that. So if you were curious as to how Lucas is on meds and how much he's changed, let me all just flip tabs over to my, I follow like literally two people on Twitter and like, I think, I think I follow Walter Fate and, um, tea cap recipes and then like a couple of randos that followed me back but i really don't use that twitter for much uh so let's flip over this this dm that we're going to see from lucas is one that was from within the last week the person who had it with him sent it to me and told me i could post it 
So this is a DM with Lucas. And Lucas says, since it's probably too small to read, I'm hyper anxious. The meds don't help. The therapy doesn't help. Marijuana doesn't help. I'm always trying to find a way through on that level. I'm addicted to this quest. <laughs> Elliot Rogers love quest. And whatever I do to distract my mind always comes back to this quest. Like I'm a character in a video game and free will is an illusion. Okay, that's a fair enough statement. And then he says, because he's talking to someone he thinks is a woman in his desired age range here. You know, if you go on a date with me, all this will end, which is really fucking ominous. And then she replies with, I'm sorry, but that last message is pretty a pretty manipulative thing to say. I've told you more than once I'm not dating. It's not on me or any other woman to fix your struggles. And sorry, you're struggling, but one date with someone isn't going to fix mental issues and anxiety. I stayed in a bad relationship thinking it was the lesser of evils for my mental health. And it's not. It's never a good thing thinking it'll fix your problems. And then... They babbled about that for a little bit, and she or he posted some meme, and then she said, yep, one day I'll find a healthy, stable man who will treat me well. And Lucas's response to that was, I hate being single. Let's see, you're a nurse, so you'll only date guys with baseball caps like the other stupid, R word, not going to say some slurs on my stream, nurses out there who will only go with a guy with a lot of money because you're a jerk. I see why you and the guy you broke, or see why you and the guy... What the fuck? I see why you and the guy and you broke up. Okay, I'm not insane. I was just, I was reading. That's what Lucas wrote. I see why you and the guy and you broke up. He wasn't crazy. You gaslit him into going crazy. Thanks for nothing. I sincerely mean that. Thanks for nothing. And then she wrote back and said, you know, LMAO, you're an abuser. Not surprised you defaulted back to being abusive when you didn't get what you wanted. I didn't and do not owe you shit. So yes, you get nothing from me. Uh, but this is the way Lucas acts. Uh, Lucas acts this way, and he will try to be the pitiable gentleman who's just been, you know, screwed over by the world and by catfish and, and rude people and mean people. But the minute you say no, he turns into this. Um, so whatever Lucas does in public to make you think he's changed, and he can put on a very good show of making you think that he's changed. But... When he gets behind closed doors where he thinks nobody else is ever going to see what's been said, then this shit comes out and this is how he will treat you. Um, it just, that's the way he is behind closed doors. Let's switch back to YouTube. Allegedly on meds. And you want to listen to him really freak out? I could throw on some parts of the last golden USB where he's like straight up screaming because that's always funny. I never get sick of listening to that. It's hilarious. I'm going to listen to him scream on the golden USB. Yeah, fixer uppers. Yeah, <clears throat> raise my hand to fixer upper. That bitch was like. <clears throat> My ex was kind of like the house you get where they say, oh, there's minor termite damage, and it turns out everything's fucking rotted. The joys of being married to a narcissist. You know, let's laugh at Lucas, like, freak out on the golden USB. Well, I honestly, I love that. And I'll probably do the end first, but then jump back around, because there's some points where he's freaking out at Jeremiah that are great. I should just go back and timestamp this at some point, but I don't actually care that much. Am I close? Do you want process, the KFC right? or not? Why don't you? Why doesn't your generation ever love? Why do you always I don't try love, to? I bought. I bought you so many KFC. Oh, it's... I bought you so many KFC. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. It's all about the chicken. Meanwhile, you're getting laid. How do you love me? How do you love me, Gen Z? How by giving me chicken while you hit the pussy? Who the fuck are you, bigot? I mean, if somebody offered me like a bucket of chicken or some pussy, I'd probably. I mean, I'd probably. Probably honestly take the chicken. Maybe that's because I'm high right now, but I'd take the chicken. I don't have to put any effort into the chicken. Okay, so you don't want the chicken. Oh, I should just have chicken while you get laid. Who the fuck are you, big ass? Why are you like this? You tell them there's a trite. <laughs> oh, I should just eat chicken but not have a girlfriend. Why doesn't Gen Z ever hook me up? Why are you age folks, you little bigots? So no KFC? <laughs> Dude. Dude. Okay, are we moving on to the, the last subject or no KFC? Why age folks? Why won't you date a Gen X dude no, even that's after not this a information? That's my podcast. Oh, it's not? Oh, it's not, you little bigots? 
Okay, so. Okay, so the fun part about this meltdown that, that a lot of people miss is Lucas was sure that this was like his podcast. And part of it was because uh, Goldie was, I mean, that kid was like 21, 22. He was a young kid. And I don't think he knew what he was got, getting into with Lucas. Um, you have to handle Lucas a certain way or he's going to take over your entire podcast when he's on. Um, and Lucas was at the point of Golden USB thinking that this made him a celebrity and that it was his podcast so that he could do whatever he wanted to do because it was his podcast. So that's why he's kind of acting, oh, it's your podcast, huh? The voices on the wind. I want to know about the voices on the wind. What the hell are you talking about? The Voices on the Wind. On episode one, you said you wouldn't listen to The Voices on the Wind no more than you have to. And I dig up some old posts of yours where you say that I'm not oh, the crazy. Background. The voices and yes, the background sounds, the bigot background sounds. There, what there, is there this are people, about? Are you there are voices? people around a block away talking. That's what I mean. Why don't you get anecdotes, Gen Z? Why don't you understand sarcasm, Gen Z? It's not really what an anecdote is, but go off, dude. You tell him there's a. He thinks dude is a slur, by the way. That's right. You're just going to continue this age phobia and corrupt the DNA of your future children. Uh, so, with this interview, Lucas was homeless and he was out in the park. Um, and he's also got like an absolute shit phone. Like, he can only afford like the shittiest, lowest end Android phones you can imagine. Uh, so, his mic is always bad. And the way it picks up background noise is something else sometimes. Great. This was after editing out the background noise to an extent because before it was really super loud wind in cars. I'll take chicken, you take pussy, and you get laid all the time and give your kids corrupt DNA. That's what you want. That's what you're telling me. You're going to just give in to that. You get the KFC. I should have chicken while you get pussy. That's what you're saying, right? That's a classic line, obviously. You know, honestly. Good job, Lucas. But you accepted it all the other times. What changed? Why are you a bigot? I'm not Why a bigot. are you so afraid, Sophie? Why are you so afraid? <laughs> Stella! Why are you bigots? Why are you age folks? Why won't you ever let us love? You're greedy. So he said that on purpose. He said you're greedy on purpose because calling Lucas greedy is one way to like legitimately just trigger him into a rage. I'm greedy. I should have KFC chicken. I you should have chicken while you get you pussy. You lied to me. Who the you fuck said are you that greedy? the pizza I got you You're was greedy. for episode six. Are you in the asshole. Was... So the thing with this is at the time you couldn't because what Lucas would do uh, anytime he was cornered on, on any of these things is he would just hang up. He would leave. Um, so if, if anyone tried to press him, he would leave. Um, and the main reason I think he didn't on the Outcast Owls thing was because, number one, he's heavily medicated now and monitored, so he can't really freak out the way he used to. But he had spent the last two hours trying to make himself to be this like gentle, loving, I just want to um, improve my life and move on, I want redemption sort of guy. And he knew perfectly well if he just walked when they let me on or if he had a fit or if he lost his shit, that it would undo all of his damage control. I mean, his behavior after the that stream undid all of his damage control. But that's why he's like this now and why people in older podcasts never really confront him because he would just quit. He'd just hang up because he's a complete pussy. Why are you going to gaslight me? Oh, you should get laid and have a girlfriend and have your happy fucking life and your marriage and I shit. Well, every day. we suffer your age phobia. Why are you? Oh, oh, the racism sucks. Why are you going to give your kids corrupt DNA? Tell me about the voices on the wind or no KFC. Why are you concerned about <laughs> that gaslighting? Why no don't gaslight you? It's not what gaslighting is, but okay. I um, want to know about the voices on the wind. Why do you have Gen Z, you little age bugs? Why not give your kids stronger DNA? Are they telling you? Keep in mind that he's sitting in a public park while he's doing this podcast with Goldie. He is sitting out in public in a park in the summer where there are definitely people around and he is being this loud. You need to do something scary. Why are you are greedy? You to kill yourself? Why? What are Why? You Why? Why? Why are you greedy? So what are the Why are you a bigot?
You need medication. Why That's are when you I'll get to KFC. Show. I won't oh, get to KFC oh, no sooner. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. You need pussy and and I'll have the chicken. Fuck you, bigot. This conversation is done, you motherfucking I think asshole. So too. I'm here with a dick, you greedy motherfuckers. Fuck you, Gen Z. Why are you like this, you age folks? So the funniest part to me about this golden USB thing um, was that I have one account that's basically a mom friend account that Lucas thinks I'm like, I don't know why. Well, it's it's one of the ones where he doesn't think I'm Gen Z, I don't think. But I'm more like his mom friend that tries to like help him out. And even after the first golden USB thing, I was like, hey man, are you sure this guy's not trolling you? It sounds like he's kind of making fun of you. He's like, no, 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 it's just banter. And like, I asked him, because this one happened when I was at work, so I couldn't watch it. And I asked him how the podcast went, because I knew how it was going to go, because I'd been talking to, to, to Goldor, Goldie, whatever. I'd been talking to him, and I knew this was going to be the final episode where they basically sort of revealed the whole time that they were just fucking with him, more or less. And his response was, oh, it went fine. I'm like, you know, I'm going to see it, you dumb fuck, but okay. But yeah, the end of that is, is an honestly a great one. That's too long. I don't want to go through that one. I'm going to take a peek through some of these to just see some of the more basic stuff that we all kind of know about, but that uh, somebody who's not super familiar with Lucas would be like, well, I don't get this. I think it's like the KKK. It's been a real angry one. Are my angry ones all cued? I'm going to be mad if my angry ones are all cued. Shit, my angry ones are all cued. Well, you know what? I can uncue them just as fast. So let's pop into the studio. And over to content. Oh, right. I'm like totally on the wrong account. That's why I'm not seeing anything. I know how to use computers. I promise. I kind of guess I know how to use computers. All right, here's, let's see. And there's like four super angry ones in a row. Which one do I want to grab? I'm going to grab this one. So this one is still listed as private because it's, it's drafted to be scheduled. It'll be up. God knows fucking when I'm scheduled a week out now. I would buy a coloring book of Lucas making all of his anger faces. Something in the room full of cats is making loud, destructive noises. So I'm going to go for a minute and see what my cats are destroying. And I'll just keep Lucas playing because shit's crashing around and moving, and that's not a good sign. Start talking again, fatty.
Yeah, so they knocked a bunch of shit off one of the reptile supply cell or shelves, just a bunch of tongs and eating tubs. But it was loud. And one dummy got trapped under a flipped over tub. It was panicking and running around like something you'd see in a fucking cartoon because she couldn't figure out how to flip the little tub up and get out from under it. It was just sort of bumpering off the walls. So I had to help the dumbass cat. And she's really not stupid. She's just a kitten. You know, there's this research. He saw a guy with gray hair. Wait, how did the sound go? Nothing's muted. I mean, it's paused now, but... Hmm. Why the fuck would the sound have suddenly quit working? That's not muted. That's not muted. Oh, I wonder if it's because it's not one of my normal tabs that shared. Was there like any sound on that video at all? Uh, I bet I have to publish it first and put it on a normal. Oh, it stopped sharing my shit. Oh, okay. I see. It stopped sharing my screen, like, properly. All right, all right, all right. Let me just pop that back up. Chrome tab. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop it back to this one. Yeah, apparently it closed my screen share. What the fuck ever. Why would you fuck young? Why would you? This is the one. Is there like sound now? Okay, but like, is there sound now? Nobody needs to see a full body shot of the worm, which means I'm absolutely going to stop this and show you. Just going to find. Search fat chocobo on my channel, you'll uh, find it. Oh my, so, okay, I figured out what it's doing. Uh, if I try to play that private video because it's not published yet, it, like, kills the sound and stops my screen share. Oh my god. Okay, well, I know better than to do that then. Share the screen. Share the screen. From tab. Share the audio. Let's try this one. Well, there's no sound now because there's not actually anything playing. So if you wanted to see full body worm. Okay, did that have sound? At all? I'm gonna play it again because I like that music. Yeah, I don't know what the song was, was with the private video, but when I brought that up, it, it just, like, ended the screen share. So I I had no idea why that happened. Uh, whatever. I can just publish it. I'll just publish it, and then maybe it won't do it. It's scheduled. Fuck. Oh, God, it was scheduled for the 7th. What the hell's the date today? It's the 25th. Okay. 25th. And I can't do it in the past. We'll do 1043 because that's technically in the future. And see if it comes up then in a minute. 
Apparently you just can't play them if they're private or you can't play them with sound anyway. Now I just got to wait for the clock to change. <laughs> yeah, I know Lucas, Lucas only weighs about 220 with a gut like that. Yeah, he's got weird little chicken legs. How many seconds is it till 10.43? Come on, YouTube. Or 11.43, whatever. I don't have no idea what time it is anymore. Publish the dang thing. Fine. Do it this way. It doesn't want to show the stupid thing that I just told it to publish. Whatever. Well, let's see if it's actually published and it's just my browser being dumb. But if I lose my screen share again, that's probably why. Okay, is there sound on it now? Because it is public. It is showing as a public video now. Okay, you're probably right, actually, because there's a very brief moment in one of those disgusting Motel 6 videos where uh, it's not as dark in the room as he thinks it is, and he, like, rolls over or moves his legs or something. What is it with this particular one not wanting to show sound? Looks like it should be showing sound. Well, there's no sound right now because it's paused, but um, he moved his legs, and he was not under a blanket, and he definitely was not wearing anything that was gross. Seriously, what is it with that particular video? Because, yeah, it's showing here that it actually has sound. But fine, we'll close that tab. Oh, no, it blew up the screen show again. Well, apparently it doesn't want us to see that particular Lucas video tonight. So I guess we're just not going to watch that particular Lucas video tonight. Rude. That was weird. Yeah, that's, I, I, I don't even remember what part, what Motel 6 compilation that was from, but I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I really don't want to watch that one. It was way back, too. Yeah, Luke is telling people to unalive themselves. That's from, so he had the beard in the backwards baseball cap. That would have been from about 2013, 2014. Just, oh. Yeah, you don't want to see full body. <laughs> he does kind of look like a Snorlax. And for other uh, interesting things that you might not know about Lucas, he has extremely poor hygiene. We've all kind of guessed that. But um... it's not in the cards for you. It's worth keeping in mind he's very dehydrated and has oral thrush, and this is where his mind has gone. I'm pretty good at insults. And I got the internet and a lot of free time. I want to show you guys my tongue because it's really weird. It's like, it's got ridges on the sides. I mean, it's ribbed like some sort of weird sex toy or something. It's just Russian dehydration. It's all bumpy and stuff. I don't know if women are into that kind of Women are definitely not into getting thrush infections, but it's some sort of weird ribbed sex toy tongue. It's not what it looks like. Look, I I've seen my share of toys in forty some years. Ain't nothing looked like a yeast infected tongue. Fuck if I know. No, I don't know. As an uh, as an older guy interested in younger males and a a libtard or whatever you want to call me. <laughs> I just had to lift that. Well, since this tab sound works, we're going to be going back and forth because apparently uh, Stream Merit is, is being weird about sound lately. Yeah, women are definitely not into being licked at with someone who's got massive oral thrush going on. Like, at all. Ugh, just thinking about it. Oh, if you ever have uh, seen a... 
I'm pretty sure whatever Suzanne did with him only involved hands. Uh, so if you ever want to see what it's like catching Lucas in the wild, uh, somebody did post a video. It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults, and I got the internet and a lot of free time. Fuck you, bigots! Oh, bigots. Bigots. Not to be confused with spigots. Lucas, calm the fuck down. Calm down. So, yeah, if you ever wonder what it was like to encounter Lucas in public, that. <laughs> I'm not going to make fun of his walk because he walks the way he does because he has diabetic neuropathy and his feet are like literally rotting off. Um, so that's why he walks the way he does. He can't feel his feet for the most part. But yeah, the, I mean, the further back you go, it's like he just he doesn't change. He is into underage girls. And that's all he wants. Um, I'm talking about being a bad father. His nasty. Uh, Lucas. Lucas says he can cook. Um, you want to watch some of his toaster oven stuff? I don't. They're disgusting. But you know, yeah, his weird gait is. I don't think he's going to have those feet much longer. He's already getting prescription shoes. Uh, the wounds aren't getting smaller or better. Uh, he wasn't walking in circles. He noticed somebody was filming him, so he turned around to walk away from them. Motel 6, Motel. Oh. I had to see the thumbnail. Now you have to see the video because you have to. It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults, and I got the internet and a lot of free time. That one, I think, is cued, but I can check while this one's playing. Oh, fuck, that's loud. I'm taking my headphones off for this one. The ranch. Mm, that's better. Oh no, it's not better. Those are mouth sounds. Oh. It's fucking nasty. What the hell? Fifty dollars, and you can have a worm in the video. Mm. You can have two for seventy-five bucks over Cash App, but one is fifty. Anything you want me to talk about, you just let me know, bro, or sis. So this Shirley Temple-ish thing. Is uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Okay, so the Sad Apartment Tour is actually uploaded, but yeah, he put a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup in a in a Dr. Pepper. This sounds disgusting. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of what makes it like awful, because like you know, you know, there's going to be a contingent of people who look at shit like this and they're like, "Oh, well, homeless people are like this." But like, could you just imagine like desperately trying to get back on your feet? And doing your best and having to be a roommate to fucking Lucas. Like, uh, Lucas had a, a weed vape for a while, but he probably just lost it. Uh, so anyway, the sad apartment tour. So this was this was not even his real apartment. This was a like a literal six month transitional housing he got after he got out of his year ish long psych ward stay. Yeah, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of my apartment. I just got an apartment today. Uh, if this doesn't give me a girlfriend, 
And just what every girlfriend wants an apartment where you can't stay the night because you're supervised and there's no fucking furniture. Woohoo, ladies, line the fuck up. Uh, God damn well, you're Plastic dishes. Just pushing it now. Um, so, yeah, I'm improving myself or whatever. <laughs> He's got a fan. Oh, I'm no, sorry. He does have a bed. Uh, I got a big window. This is my bed. I'm going to get a blanket tomorrow because that's just like a a bathroom thing. I'm keeping it simple. I need he's to using get a, a bathroom towel when he's calling that and keeping it simple. Probably a pot and a pan. Uh, a you know, pot and a pan. The garbage is making the videos and stuff. Fancy, today. man. So it's very simple now. I'm going to get like, a, you know, I... This actually was a nicer little apartment that was more well kept because it was meant to be very transitional housing, like six months mostly. And he actually did have a bathroom in this one. Also, okay. We'll get to see the bathroom in this one. So there's proof that this is an actual apartment. It's a little studio. I like it. It's costing me two hundred fifty dollars a month. I'm getting should I live in a studio for two fifty a month? I live here for six months. And um Move to a bigger place that will probably be about three to six hundred dollars a month. He moved to a place that was smaller and didn't have its own bathroom. Just so you know. Uh, but this is two fifty a month. This is transitional uh, from the homeless shelters where I was staying for a year. So now I'm no longer homeless. I have an apartment. Uh, nothing in the freezer, fridge yet. I get my food card money. It's government subsidized. That's why it's cheap. Tomorrow, so I'll probably load up the fridge, which has nothing in it. I have a plastic plate. Um, my plan is to get two plates. But like even at Pioneer Pathway, the place he was after this, that, that was not transitional housing for him. That was supposed to be permanent. Um, he just, he never, he, he can't take care of himself. And his apartment was always a mess. He'd piss in the sink. He couldn't keep shared areas clean. I mean, but he doesn't know how lucky he was there. But when the way he got kicked out, when he basically said, I'm going to blackmail you to give me a woman to assault, uh, he got himself blacklisted from Section 8 in government housing. He's fucked. He can't run anywhere in Spokane. Two forks. Silverware. Two knives, two spoons, a pot. Two forks. Two forks. There's two forks there. And, and keep it at that for now. So... Yeah. Um, so on one of the live streams he did on his old channel, he got up to go to the bathroom, and there was no bathroom in that apartment. He had to go down the hall to the shared bathroom. Except he didn't, like, pause his phone or even mute his phone. He just got up. You could hear him walk over to the sink and start pissing, and then he came back. Uh, this apartment... So this apartment he got early 2019, I think, or maybe late 2018. All the original dates are gone because he deleted them. Uh, and then six months later, he was in the one that was supposed to be supposed to be current. Yeah, Mel Melon Place. Melon Place is absolutely his last chance. If he fucks up there, he's he's done. He's gonna have to leave Spokane, or he'll just you know die on the streets. No, you can't come over to my house unless you're a female under the age of 26. Just do. It's not rape beer or anything. Tonight. And you can stay the night if you're uh, my guest. Um, but I'm only going to allow you to stay the night if you're a female and you're here to have sex with me. So that's a theme that, that Lucas actually kept up. Um, and that was from his older days, too, and from newer videos where he's like, if you're a girl and you're in my apartment, you're my girlfriend. I don't care if you have a boyfriend. If you're in my apartment, you're my girlfriend and we're happy. He's he would, if he were smart enough to get a woman alone where she could not easily get away from him, I have no doubts in my mind that he would assault her or attempt to assault her. But, you know, it's not really all about sex. We could have sex. Uh, I have money to take you out on dates if you want to, like, actually go on dates before having sex. So your option is come stay with me and we have sex, or we go out on dates and uh, – uh, do it that way. So either way, it's up to you. Do it I, I that got way. a uh, reason for dating women under 26. They're the most fertile. Blah blah blah. I like women that are uh, physically attractive, intelligent, 
kind. If you do not meet the criteria for any of these things, I'm not interested in you. If you're mean to me or hateful or critical of me, after this point, um, I don't know what to do for you. I think you're demanding too much now. You're not going to get perfection, but obviously we have improvement here. Look, I have lost weight since you've known me since 2007. Now all these lost I'm a weight. Little overweight, but I'm not as fat as I was. I used to wear a 5X shirt. Now I wear an XL. When I got to Spokane, I wore a 3X shirt. Now I'm wearing a 2X and it's too big. This is just the saddest, beigeest little apartment. Big. And the other day I was wearing an XL shirt, which fit me fine. It's got a little nightlight. Um, I have toilet paper. Ladies, he had toilet paper, you know, just in case. He's got toilet paper in his apartment. Well, he doesn't have toilet paper in his apartment now because he's in a shared room with a shared bathroom in a nursing home, but there's probably toilet paper in the shared bathroom, so, you know. Uh, I need to get soap and shampoo. I'm getting my money tomorrow. Again, um, I have a lawyer on the Starbucks case. And the only reason he would in an ambulance chaser uh, call him on that one, saying that he for sure had a multi-million dollar case for discrimination, and then like never heard back from him again. Contact me is if he thought we can get a settlement out of them, which is obvious. God, just look at that fucking sad apartment. You know that bed was the only piece of furniture he ever put in there. Settlement out of them for a lot of money. <laughs> The shower was probably unused, which is why it was clean. Because uh, the girl I hit on, uh, I have no idea how old she was. I gave her that note. And uh, if she's calling me creepy, I'm calling her out for bigotry, um, which is a hate crime. And they, they didn't have to. He legitimately, and he still thinks this, um, that what happened to him at Starbucks, or if you like don't want to date him because he's old and gross, is a hate crime. They kicked me out. She could have just responded like an adult and said, The 16 year old could have just responded like an adult. No. The age of consent in Washington State and 33 states is 16. And you have to be 16 to work at Starbucks. And she was flirting with me. So he's one of those guys. I'm always, I'm always reminded of the Dilbert strip where they, where, you know, Wally's in a store and the cashier smiles at him and she, he thinks she's flirting with him. She says, no, this is just my customer service smile. All employees are required to smile. That's what it is. She was never flirting with him. She was being customer service friendly in the hopes that he wouldn't get like bitchy about wanting to see a manager or that he might leave a tip in the tip jar. He wasn't flirting or she was not flirting with him. And yeah, that that is true. This is the funniest part is that she acted like an adult. She didn't flip out on him at the counter. She told her management that a customer was doing this gave the information needed the manager then made a decision that hey this guy's potentially dangerous we don't want him here um so she did act like an adult just not in the way that uh lucas was hoping she would act like an adult and if nothing else i didn't break law so i should be able to at least go back to starbucks to drink my fucking cocoa but the fact that a lawyer contacted me today I'm pretty sure that I can get a cash settlement from Starbucks. Your ass is grass. Uh, and we do have that recording of the barista at Starbucks, the mayor. I love it when Lucas coins frames, your ass is grass, and we do have the recording of that barista. Like, that's not how that stupid turn of phrase goes, but you're dumb as hell. Yeah, people seriously get kicked out of bars for doing way less than leaving a slightly creepy note. Um, yeah, so nobody has actually seen the Starbucks note. What we've seen on the internet are a couple notes, like there was that one that he left uh, to a bartender talking about his sperm and that he wants to die without a woman as gorgeous as her. Uh, it was probably a troll, but there are some ambulance chaser type lawyers that might try to make a quick buck out of it, but they probably looked at Lucas's past and realized it was a not a winning case. Um, but yeah, Lucas just... He, he leaves notes like that, or he used to leave notes like that, like to bartenders and in other places, and a couple of those are still floating around on the internet, but the actual one that he left for the Starbucks girl, um, 
I don't think is anywhere. Um, threatened to rape a 17 year old girl. So there is a possibility that I could be a millionaire from this. I don't know what settlements are like. Starbucks, give me some money. I have a lawyer on this now. I conducted an interview with uh, Crim2 News in Spokane over email that got on the television. So yeah, that was the note where he talked about needing to be inside of her and then going on about how that his sperm and her eggs would make superior mutant babies and that dumb shit that he doesn't understand. So I know that some of these people emailing me are legit. And uh, a couple other news circuits want to interview me. So that lawyer is probably legit. Starbucks on West Main in Spokane. Starbucks in general. I'm going to get money out of you. Wonder how that lawsuit went. Uh, so I just wanted to show you. I've lost some weight. If you don't like guys with beards, I can shave. If you don't like bigger guys, well, an XL shirt is not the smallest shirt, but I'm not going to be skinny. Wisdom from Lucas. An XL shirt is not the smallest shirt. You like those kind of guys, I think your anorexia love is sick. Um, if you like guys who are not 5x, then you're into anorexia. So I am improving my life. I could have that million dollar settlement or whatever. Million dollars. <laughs> I told you I kind of go off a tangent here because you all know who Lucas is, but these are also good, uh, good little video bits to show about why this. Fucker is the way he is. He's just a disgusting pedophile. Millions of dollars in Starbucks. I have an apartment now that I'm going to live in for six months. Either way, this will improve in six months. And so come over and kick it sometime if you are a girl under the age of 26 in Spokane, Washington, and we can do whatever you want. Um, we can eat here at my place or we can go out to eat. <laughs> but if you want to spend the night at my place, the only requirement. A barest minimum is you're a female under the age of 26 at this point. If you're a male, don't even try. There is nothing I... No men allowed in his apartment. None. ...want from you whatsoever. Doesn't want anything from men. Fuck men. If you bring <laughs> a girl into my apartment, I'm having sex with her. So did you catch that? We're just going to back that up a little bit. Just pay real close attention here. In fact, I wonder, maybe the captions will play nice. Or maybe they won't, but we'll find out. If you bring a girl into my apartment, I'm having sex with her. Let that sink in. So at this point, he was saying that if you were a guy, and you brought a woman over to his apartment, whether it was your girlfriend, a friend of yours, someone you wanted to introduce him to, he's having sex with her. She's in his apartment, she's game done deal. If I'm not a blood related, I'm not having sex with her. That's not your problem. If you bring a female into my apartment and I find her attractive, I'm having sex with her and you're not. I'm not a You know what? I'm going to put the captions on for all that shit because they were actually accurate and it's nice. We're going to go back and watch Lucas talk like a rapist again. If you bring a girl into my apartment, having sex with her. Done deal. If I'm not a blood related, I'm not having sex with her. That's not your problem. If you bring a female into my apartment and I find her attractive, female. I'm having sex with her and you're not. I'm not allowing males to come over to my house to spend the night. I'm straight. I'm not a homophobe. But at the same time, I'm not letting males to come over to my house or my apartment to stay the night. If that's you, find someplace else. There are three homeless shelters in town. You're on your own, bud. Yeah. It would be gay to have men over, apparently. But yeah, Lucas was basically saying if you're a woman and you come into his apartment, that is, ex to him, con explicit consent. Or consent. He's saying female because he's just an unsuccessful, ugly little Ferengi. So, yeah, that was an apartment tour that took a real dark fucking path.
I have to go two taps back. Oh, there it finally uploaded. Hey, I wonder if we can get sound on this one now. Have you ever gone out in your city or town and noticed now? Does it have sound now? Oh, that was a great place to pause. He looks terrible. Now that maybe once a day or a couple times a week, you're seeing older guys with gray hair walking around, maybe even holding hands with younger women that are like 18 to 23. I've noticed this in Spokane and I've really got to wonder. I, I was at the homeless shelters for eight months here. And so if you're curious in some of these videos in this, uh, I think it was Phoenix something or other was this house, why he's laying on the floor, it's because he never got any furniture. Uh, in that apartment tour, that mattress on the floor, that was the only furniture he had. I was talking to these old guys and talking with my group at the lunch tables and the breakfast tables and talking about the how the uh, old guy produces less telomerase, which makes... Uh, like, he just talks to random people about this and wonders why he doesn't have friends. Uh, less cancer in these women, less depression, anger, and stress with an age gap relationship, how it rises in older men and seems to plateau at 55 while rising at 35 years old. So these guys did get this confidence to talk to younger women because of me. So, yeah, this is another one of like his weird narcissistic delusions. He thinks that the only reason older men in Spokane started going after younger women was because of him, like literally because of him. He's that like so far up his own ass. I walked past and I've seen them almost engaged in kisses. Eyes closed, lips an inch apart, walking around with younger women, holding their hands in restaurants with them, riding the bus, leaving town to go to the homeless shelter. Oh boy. The apartment with these older guys that have a full head of gray hair and these women are obviously like college chicks. So I'm wondering, Get a Kleenex, you disgusting pig. How there's been this surge for the past eight months that I've been in Spokane when I presented this research on telomerase. By presented this research, he means created a Weebly site. Just in case you were curious. And I haven't got anything. I just did that video a couple days ago. Well, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week and a half about sexism and how there's a we're a sexist society and how women have more chromosomes in the way that you know that talking men about the stronger sex is through ignorance i mean women are obviously the stronger sex double x to an xy chromosome means that they women are the stronger sex because double x has one more of all the times for drag to not be in here screaming about how wrong lucas is extra arm um there's a sexism protest uh today going on in spokane about uh the patriarchy and i walked past and i saw a cute girl like holding a sign with a guy her own age and i almost said you know women are more they have more chromosome space hi i'm lucas and i'm single you know something like that but i'm 37 years old and i know there's a lot of age phobia but you know there's this his arms look cartoonishly weird. Research. I could have gone into it. I mean, the older guys are obviously using this research. I, I was at the library yesterday and walked out and saw a guy with a full head of gray hair. Uh, just because somebody's wearing camouflage doesn't necessarily mean that they're Republicans in Spokane. It's just kind of the fashion of this area of Eastern Washington. And he looked like he was probably a progressive. You can tell there, there's sort of a difference in how they carry themselves. He was walking with a girl with an I love haters hat that was probably like 18. Uh, obviously not her father. And the way I know that is because they weren't looking in the same direction. Fathers and daughters, when they walk together, look in the same direction. She was like rolling. They do? I really got to remember to mute my mic when I start typing something because all you hear is a little clackety, 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 clack. I don't know if fathers and daughters when they walk together look in the same direction like do they just stare straight ahead like in androids
in her eyes, like looking up into the sky. And he was like down, like squinting, blush face, kind of like I was when I was trying to consider if Trump would be a good president or not. Because they listen to the speech. So he thinks women blushing automatically means they want to fuck him. But why did he just compare that to him going, quote unquote, full blush face over Trump? I think about that too hard. It's not cartoon. It's a look. I like mechanical keyboards, right? And um, I got the on this one. This one has the green switches, so those are one of the louder, harder to hit switches. And I've got another one that's got uh, that's got reds on it. I I grew up with mechanical keyboards. I am definitely autistic. I like actually diagnosed, and I like the tactile and sound feedback of mechanical keyboards. But the mic is sitting right next to it, and I really should try to remember to mute the fucking mic if I'm going to type, because it is it is extremely loud. I like it, but it probably just sounds annoying, y'all. I was like, you know, there's some parts I agree with. He talked about the forgotten man and women, and some stuff that, you know, I agreed with, and it was an okay speech. But you know that they're going to fuck. And I wonder, are these girls hookers? Are they just hanging out of the down tenor? Uh, are these guys, like, using my research that I presented and just not talking to me. They'll go up to the women, but they won't talk to me, even though I'm the one that has maybe stirred some of the openness to older men. I mean, he goes, literally nobody but trolls went to your website. He, he thinks he's a famous vlogger in, in Spokane. And it's delusional thinking. Dating sites is very bigoted against older guys. Are they all going to pet life in hooking up with the daddy daughter thing? I mean, from what we've heard about Trump, they might be about the same size. So, you know, they got that in common. And they both like to assault your well. I won't say that because Trump is can sue me. They're both into younger women. Let's put it that way. I don't know. I've seen him hook up right then and there, just as uh, chauvinistically as can be. Well, I don't want to say chauvinistically. I mean, you go around like the dudes. What entitles the dudes born in the 1990s? Had a really kick ass old uh, typewriter from the estate sale of the mom of one of my friends. And I type too fast for typewriters. Uh, little hammers not to jam, but it is fun to use. 90s to hook up with chicks born in the 1990s. Do you want telomere attrition in your kids like inbreeding? Do you want telomeres over abundance leading, to, uh, leading you to depression, anger, stress, and a higher rate of cancer and divorce because you're uh, so close in age uh, when women mature 11 years sooner than you? Uh, are the old guys- This is like the worst possible lighting even for a shitty apartment, but also remember he is recording these on a Kindle. I was just going up and like being gentlemen, even though that I was there and at the homeless shelter and I inspired them to talk to these younger women or are they, they just like ignoring the fact that I like, no, this is a delusion he still has, by the way, that the only reason anyone in the area that he lives in might have a younger partner is because they read his websites. Like this is something he legitimately believes. This is not like a joke that he's making. He honest fucking God believes this. I have essentially saved their, that I am their savior. Literally nobody has said that to you, Lucas. Are they talking about conversationrage.weebly.com? Nobody's talking about your website, Lucas. Are they talking about my website? Convers no. Conversation or age. And the fact that I mentioned that I haven't had a girlfriend in five years, that I usually do the cooking and the cleaning and the relationship. Y'all, he can cook and clean. Feminism, feminism is over. We don't need anything else. Lucas, and, and the funny thing is, is he can't cook or clean, so. Um, and I'm willing to take him out in uh, Spokane anywhere they want to eat. And I So Lucas is basically saying here that he's willing to do the bare minimum and can't figure out why he doesn't have a solid 10 now have an apartment are they just ignoring that because these guys have credit cards uh are they ignoring that because these guys are christians and i'm an atheist that doesn't seem very christ-like uh are these guys like presenting the evidence and saying yeah but he's a sexist therefore lying about me when i did that whole video about like how women are actually the stronger sex what's really going on in spokane where the gray-haired old guys that i've 
eaten with at homeless shelters and seen eating at the three homeless shelters that I stayed at are now hooking up with the younger women. And a lot of these guys are Democrats. I mean, how are they getting the pussy and I'm not? Sometimes you look and there's a Confederate flag on the guy. Sometimes you look and there's a swastika on the guy. And it's obvious that the guy's a meth addict or he gets into trouble and fights because, well, he's a conservative in Washington state. Even in Eastern Washington, the conservatives are kind of seen as, well, scum. Um, but why is a young girl hanging out with an old dude that isn't her father that's a conservative male? How is it that the postmodern liberal older guys that are progressives getting the women without mentioning my research that I presented them to give them the confidence that I've talked about publicly, vocally in the homeless shelters with them? How are they doing this to me? I haven't had a girlfriend in five years. Are these chicks just hookers? Are they whores? Are they prostitutes? What are they? How do they get away with going to the restaurants with these guys when they're not hookers, but they're hooking up with these older guys? I have the money to take you to a restaurant. What's my problem? How are these guys not creeps and I'm the creep? Look at me. Do I look like a creep? Really? You're going to do this to me. I'm not going to just... Lucas wants to know if he looks like a creep, y'all. Also, for keyboards, I've got two duckies. I actually really like them both. Um, one of them isn't backlit, but I didn't need a backlit for that one. Uh, it's just got slightly different colored keys on it. And then the one in front of me is backlit with a bunch of switches that I could fuck around with if I felt like it. But yeah, ducky keyboards are great, especially if you can get the the red or green um, or sometimes red, I like reds and greens. Blues are okay, but they don't click quite as loud and you don't have to hit them quite as hard. Uh, but the reds and the greens are my two favorites. It's enough of me being a nerd. Do what the conservatives want me to do. Okay. Uh, if you want to really get to know me, go to my website. I mentioned it before. It's conversationrage.weebly.com. Conversation.rage. Um, I'm wondering how the guys born in the 1990s are entitled to the chicks born in the 1990s when their kids will have telomere attrition like inbreeding and telomeres overabundance leads to anger and depression. So I understand the older guy. I honestly love that he doesn't realize in any of these, and this is a common theme whenever he talks about the whole, if you're the same age, your telomeres overabundance is going to cause you to be angry and depressed and hostile and all that stuff and he's like getting increasingly angrier and angrier um when he says that oh yeah i don't actually look for gaming keyboards because i fucking suck at gaming on a keyboard i just type a lot um i i, I just type a lot <laughs> um, half the time i can't stand i mean my, my laptop actually just has the standard membranes it's a thin gaming laptop uh, it's actually sitting behind the big monitor and hooked up to the mechanical keyboard because I prefer to type on that. But uh, I am one of those idiots that would pay extra for a gaming laptop that had a full mechanical in it. I just love the way they sound and feel. Girl power relationship. But how are these guys getting the girlfriends to go out with them that are like in college when they have a full head of gray? They have fucking personalities, Lucas. That's the end of it. Um... But yeah, he was convinced, and it wasn't even just during this time, he's convinced still that the only reason that older men get with younger women in the Spokane area is because of, quote unquote, his research, which obviously is not the case. And it's a disgusting picture. I mean, all of these pictures are disgusting, but you know, you know why I posted that? It's just Lucas grabbing his big old titty. What's the particular one that I wanted to find here? It's one of his newer ones. Actually, I need to flip how I'm sorting this because now all his old shit's at the top. And so these pictures, pictures, well, they're, okay, they're pictures because they're not moving yet. Uh, but these videos are from right after he got kicked out of his last um, shitty apartment. And they were um, private on Instagram. And that's why I actually started this channel, because for a while he was only posting to Instagram. And if you weren't his friend, his Instagram was private. You couldn't see it. 
Um, but here's him complaining about his last landlords that kicked him out for trying to um, get his neighbors to give him a, a girl to assault. Here's the thing. If you're like I'm mentally ill me. or whatever, I'm on the phone. If you're mentally ill or whatever, don't ever get an apartment with Pioneer Pathway House. I mean, the Phoenix apartments are fine if you're in transition. But hear me out here. I got kicked out of this fucking place for harassing heroin users because they were bringing high school age girls over to get them high. And these idiots kicked me out and put me on like this stupid Spokane no rent list which I don't think affects people with like bipolar because it's a different kind of housing situation. So I'm living at a shelter right now. If you harass me, they're already alert to the fact that you cock blocks and centrist penis wrinkles and age phobic bigots. Centrist penis wrinkles. That's interesting. Yeah, nothing. That's right. Nothing. He doesn't. That's why he needs to be in a place like Malin place because he doesn't. Yeah, he, he doesn't, he can't, that's why he doesn't, I don't think he can. I don't think he's actually capable of learning behavior patterns. Uh, he, he needs a, he needs a handler. Um, yeah, he, he needs, an, he needs an adult, more or less. And that's, like, for once, not me being, like, a mean drunk. He, he needs to be in a care home where he is. Because when he's left to his, to his own devices, he fucking ends up homeless on the left will harass me so uh get fucked the nazis i'm sick okay look at his creepy eyes i said creepy not crappy sick of your shit take it up with bernie sanders you fucking classic pigs like what does that even mean take it up with bernie sanders he tells the story of how he got evicted from his last apartment basically well he's lying about it basically because they wouldn't give him a high school girl to fuck um and then he ends with take it up with Bernie Sanders. Like, what the hell does he think? If I went up to Bernie Sanders and said, hey, this guy Lucas Werner in Spokane got kicked out of his transitional or, or transitional government housing because he told his neighbors that he would blackmail them and tell the management they were drug using unless they gave him a high school girl to have sex with. What are you going to do about it? I, I'd probably get, like, tackled by his bodyguards are pepper sprayed or something like Bernie Sanders would not give a shit. Bernie Sanders would think you're a fucking creep. You know, when I said this would be short and I lied because I lied it's way too long. There's, you can't even do Lucas one one without getting into half this shit because it all ties into like these patterns. Yeah. Let's listen to him sing because uh, I'm apparently a mean drunk tonight. So you're going to listen to him sing. Don't you dare mute your headphones. Gen Z, solidarity, she about 18 and ready to preach and X, needing some sex. How oh, a herald generation X. Seed and egg, but you run away to the other craze. Bigotry on the left wing. Age phobia, classism, religionism, and other sort of bigotries. You fucking Nazis. Gen Z solidarity. The Bible says respect the elders and their you breed stupidity. God, he's just the worst. But he tries the music thing every now and then. And that doesn't work because he thinks like it's gonna you know, somehow get him laid. I don't know how he still thinks that after all these years. Yeah, that was Lucas was crispy that summer because he didn't have like regular shelter or anything. So he was literally outside all day. And with the money he was actually getting, it never occurred to him to buy some fucking sunscreen or like maybe a hat. Um but that's because he's not a functional adult, so you know, gross him trying to use what he thinks is Zoomer slang. Oh, that's a thumbnail.
if he was bitching about COVID, offering $100 for a bay. I don't know what, I don't remember what this one is, and I'm terrified to find out, so I'm going to find out. I'm pretty independent. You know, I could hang out with myself and be happy all damn day. So, like, if we got to hang out, if you want me to hang out with you in, like, a leisurely setting, God, one geez. or two things are going to occur. It's a... Look how crispy he is. Date... Or I'm getting some pussy. Otherwise, I'll be by my atheist independent self. And I'll be good with that. Oh, yeah. It's always, that's always great. It's, he's got a perfect deadpan for that. Yeah, Lucas and AOC is creepy, too. Like, she, she, you know, Bernie might just walk away from him. AOC might mace the fucker and he'd deserve it. Creepy, shifty, nasty looking. Ugh. But yeah, crispy worm was a was a good look for him. Let's find some other good examples of his personality. Oh, that's a thumbnail. God, I hate my own thumbnails sometimes. <laughs> Uh, Lucas doesn't know how to wear a mask. Lucas crying in the homeless shelter. No thanks. Hey, Lucas didn't like my uh, my compilation of him saying the N word. Um, I guess four minutes of it was too much for him. He must have forgot about this like hour long video, which I'm obviously not going to play the whole hour of it, but. You really have to be suspicious of the people who make fun of you over the internet because they never show their true face. And if you ever meet anybody that makes fun of you off the internet, you can usually see like a red flag, like they just look like they do drugs. So Lucas has seen pictures of what he thinks is me. Um, I guarantee you he doesn't think I look like I do drugs. Or they just look like they don't shower. He's describing himself, if you have not figured that out. So if you haven't known, well, you all have probably noticed, but anyone new to Lucas, he describes himself all the time, but he projects it as it being qualities that other people have, not him. Or they just look like they're fucking assholes. Or they look like they're bigots. Like they'll call you... How? How does someone look like a bigot? I mean, unless they're just like wearing an actual symbol of something where you can see it. A creep or something, when they might as well just go into an area and call a black dude the N-word. This was when Lucas was in his phase of you shouldn't say slurs, in case you're wondering why he said N-word instead of actually saying it. These are obvious retards. I then he goes right ahead and goes with retard. You know, uh, retard is an ableist term, but I mean, people that have mental disabilities, like Down syndrome, I don't consider to be retards. People I consider to be retards are people that support Trump, people who support corporate Democrats, and people who talk to women like they're on Jersey Shore. That's not what that word means, but okay. Here's what I've learned from watching younger women. If you open up dude, they don't pay attention to you because they've heard it all the time. But as soon as you drop that nigga, it's like a magic word and they turn around and smile at you. It's like you. It's a magic word. We're into the slurs. Just said, please pay attention to me and smile at me. Yeah, I think for videos, those are the first ones I ran into as well. Uh, the ones that Walter did. I know I've got um, his playlists linked on the main page. But they're definitely worth a watch. He's much more concise than I am because he's actually better at this than I am. Uh, his streams that he's done on Lucas are great too between both of his uh, channels. Um, the Walter Fate channel and the Fatal Walter channel. Um, the ones on the old uh, channel of his go back way further than a lot of this. I wasn't going to do this video, and it's rare now that I even show my face because I really want people to pay attention more to my words. than. 
So this was in a series where he was doing a lot of videos with the lights out in his apartment, and on some of them, if you turn the, the brightness on your monitor up long enough, or long enough, high enough, you can see that the lights are out because he is actively crying. Look like... Hold on. Because I, I do stupid things like, don't hold my color. <laughs> Hell? So, like, I, I get up in the morning sometimes and have a thought on my mind and just want to record it without showing my face. Worth noting again, his hair is not wet. He is just using that much LA Looks gel in it. It is crunchy as far. Did I mute it? Oops. Um, I had the video, last video I posted was about Bishop Talbert Swan. And how he's sick of like white women trying to pick up uh, the microphone and talk about racism when he's black. And like how there's all these white people who want to talk about racism. And I think it's fine to like post memes on the internet about racists being stupid. It's, I don't think anybody ever said it wasn't okay to post memes, but. Okay. I'm pretty sure Lucas just like managed to we'll be fair and say you're not using a set of dice that has a zero on it. Lucas rolled a one on all of his stats. Uh but like when it really comes down to it, when a black person starts talking about racism. Yeah, and that's the thing, and that's why I'm glad that, that I actually did save them, you know, ages ago, because it's not that he's changed, it's that he's toned down his delivery. In the older stuff, he's just blatantly telling you that, hey, if you're in my apartment and we're alone with you, I'm fucking you. You don't have a choice. But he, and, and he will say it was because he wasn't on medication, but even on medication, that message never changes. Throughout the years, it never changes. Like, if you're a woman and you're in my apartment, we're on a date. Um, he just changes his delivery slightly, but he was very, very open about that and he doesn't think that sounds like assault he thinks that sounds like he's a dominant he, he, he listens to pickup artists he thinks it makes him sound dominant in reality it just makes him sound like a rapist you need to shut up and listen <clears throat> it's okay to have a conversation but you need to like stop acting like your privilege allows you to talk about racism more than people of color and I feel that way about people who talk about virtue signaling, about incels that are dudes, like Walter Fate. And I rarely put people on blast by their name, uh, but the fact that like he put me on blast with my name means that this feud is just never going to end. I have. I forgot that he thinks whatever is going on with Walter is a feud. Like Walter does not give a fuck about Lucas, other than for content. To but Lucas saw like one of the old live streams or one of the videos and suddenly decided there was like a fucking feud. Like there's no feud. Jesus. Maybe there's a one-sided feud and Lucas is the one that's feuding, but yeah. I do not talk to this guy anymore because he's like a white woman that wants to pick up arms against racism when there's black people. If there's anybody that needs to talk about incels, it's women, not dudes, women. Him trying to talk for the women is exactly what I mean. He's a misogynist prick. Misogynist. Is he still talking about Walter here? Just shut the fuck up and let the women talk about incels. And dude, I'm not an incel. An you're incel, incel, you say, well, is an involuntary celibate. But you're people that say things like, the word bigot is somebody that hates your opinion or he's involuntarily celibate. He can't get laid. He's by definition an incel. The word gay means happy. That's like the 1800s definitions of things. I'm a bachelor, not an incel. I'm a comedian, not a troll. Let the women talk about incels. Leave me out of this whole fucking thing where you think I'm an incel. I'm not. The women that I'm interested in are age phobic. And so, I think he's. I think he is still ranting about Walter here, or maybe they're not. But they're like eighteen to twenty-four. 
and most of them are age phobic. And that's all because the patriarchy markets an image of similar age couples being hot to trot and the best for the baby's health. Hot it's to not trot. <laughs> go to my YouTube channel, watch all my videos on telomeres. This one, the Lucas Warner channel, and uh, sit your clown ass down instead of hating me. Look in the mirror and look at your own narcissistic bullshit. Empaths wouldn't spend their time downvoting my statuses. This was also during the phase when he thought he was an empath and he was really obsessed with getting thumbs down on his videos. Shit. Like, whatever you say to me, it's going to be like, I agree with you, like maybe a percentage, but like most of it, I don't. You know, so like if you message me on Instagram and you don't have a, if you if your account is private, you know mine's private. I'm not here to, uh, you know why mine's private. You having a private account means I'm not going to uh, uh, allow you to follow me because you're not showing me what I need to know to know if you're worth dating or being a friend with. And you know enough about me through YouTube and years of Facebook to know that I put myself out there plenty. I don't really go to bars because I have, and they don't pay attention to me no matter what I look like or no matter how much I am in their corner. It's mostly just a bunch of age phobia pushed by the patriarchy on these poor girls or women or whatever you want to say. So if you really want a chick, go to a bar. They're 21, mostly. But if you're like 40 and you have to have a bunch of cash, you need to know about telomeres because your babies would be healthier with them. Uh, running about? cash in the time of Bernie Sanders. The other animals act like you're greedy asses. His fake teeth are so creepy. Oh, yeah, he misused the word ambivalent a lot. So Lucas went through this phase where when he got tired of people like calling him a narcissist, he started calling himself an empath. And was saying, well, that's why I'm so emotional, because I'm an empath. He's banned from a lot of the bars um, for his creepy-ass behavior towards women. I'm, I'm, I hope I made you laugh. You didn't. You're still a bunch of greedy asshole bitches. I don't like capitalism. Never... Here, this is gross. Watch it with me. You know, I spent most of today and yesterday doing nothing but arguing. So this one is queued up to be published sometime next week. But this is a very classic example of what Lucas's temper is like. And he doesn't put this display on in public much anymore because, you know, he's trying to fix his image and all that shit. Um, but when he's behind closed doors and DMs like the one we looked at earlier, this is the personality that he has. This is his, like, correct, accurate personality. And this was a Pioneer Pathway, uh, or not Pioneer Pathway, Phoenix Apartments. And, and with these apartments, at this transitional apartment, he was still on meds and in therapy. So he cannot use off my meds for this because this was a time when he was forced to be on meds because of the transitional housing he was in. And he was forced to be in outpatient therapy. So keep that in mind. He is on meds and in therapy while recording this. With young, stick up their butt women that are in college while well, my friends and I told them to basically sh So the sausage video, I only remember this because he talked to me in DMs about it. Um, he was like convinced that if you were homophobic, it would make you uncomfortable to see a man eating a sausage. I mean, I get that his dick is for like the size of that sausage, but yeah, he just, he's an idiot. Um, he posted he posted something to that effect on Facebook a while back and saying he didn't understand why he got kicked out because uh, people take pictures of their friends in clubs all the time. That's like, yeah, they're taking pictures of their friends. They're not sitting in a corner taking obvious creep shots of women and then posting to Facebook about how it would be their fat material. Shut up. A lot of the women that are on my side are cute. 
and they would hook up with me and go out on dates with me and stuff and be my girl if they were in Spokane. But no, nah, in Spokane, it's just the gray haired guys stealing all the hood rats and all the hot chicks while using the. You're not going to get a good pause on my here. website. Yeah, you are. Conversation our age. Conversation rage.weebly.com. Don't fucking lie to me. Look at how just fucking crazy his eyes are. This has not changed. Like, there is nothing. If you've ever been with a narcissist or been unfortunate enough to be around a narcissist to the point where you were one of their victims, you know that just black dead look when they're in a rage. That is what this is. Uh, anyway, uh, so I spent like most of yesterday and today uh, arguing with like the rich, what I view as like the oligarch capitalist stick up their butt women that are like, no, Talamre's overabundance doesn't lead to anything. I can date young guys if I want. I'm young and I'm free and blah, blah, blah. No, you can't. The fact that the Talamre's research has said that overabundance causes anger and depression is evidence alone. He said angrily. And the stress that you just won't accept this like a bunch of global warming deniers that I think that's this one. It's one in that series, but I don't remember the exact title of this one. I just know I have it queued somewhere. If two people or more under the age of 35 oh. are together, it elevates the rates of telomerase production and, and the osmosis of telomerase to two people or more under the age of 35 because of this youth bandwagoning, age-phobic, stupid stuff. As for a hundred years, just a try to tell me there's another thing the fathers over 35 to 55 that we discovered in 2012 that gives kids stronger chromosomes that it, it shows the hatefulness of our time because uh telomere attrition leads to mental illness. He doesn't see the irony in that if you weren't certain, which is sociopathic behavior. Hmm, looking, uh, never mind, we all know you're a sociopath, too. And all the other problems, look at the kids with the glasses, like... Lucas has glasses, he just lost them. How many kids do we need with glasses? A health problem. I mean, they've got the weak chromosomes because of the young father's myth. Lucas has diabetes and mental illness. That they were better for 100 years. We need to shut MTV and all this crap down. Do okay, Boomer, you don't like MTV, we get it. Yeah, it just like goes completely over his head that everything he says in these research papers like applies to him. Like he is writing himself out of being an acceptable mate based on the own the research he doesn't understand. Who's under thirty five should not have sex. Period. What we know about telomere attrition, the way it's like inbreeding, dudes under thirty five should not have sex. It's like you're trying to d justify incest. Oh yeah, I just hit the space bar to pause the video, so that's the click. Go to hell. No. And the telomerase overabundance of overproduction of telomerase. One person produces enough telomerase for themselves, but then you're two people with telomerase that causes overabundance. And I'm mad because I'm around all this all the time. It's either all these guys with the age gap relationships with the young women, but not me. <laughs> Wouldn't you just love to see that face in an argument come up at you? But he wouldn't be abusive or anything like that. No, he's. A perfectly calm, sane, rational gentleman. Hello, puppy. Are you mad that we're not in bed and you're sleeping on the floor and poking my foot? Dog is tired. Well, you call me a sociopath? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm there keeping it to myself. And I'm going around the corner and throwing up because I know you're using my information from a conversation already to get laid. Yeah, he looks like his head is actually going to explode. Yeah, he must have... <laughs> <laughs> you must have had too much soda that day. I hate you like a goddamn redneck. I hate. You. I hate you like I hate racists. And you are fucking. I hate you. But yeah, but then I have to you know and, and and argue with like and try to like keep it calm in the library while my Facebook <laughs> arguing with these rich. Elite. And to keep it calm in the library. <laughs> Elitist conservatives and liberals, it doesn't even matter. They're just age phobic and they won't accept the fact. 
two people or more together under the age of 35 elevates the rates of telomerase, which causes anger, depression, and stress. Anger, depression, and stress, you say? And they won't accept it like a bunch of Holocaust deniers. And that pisses me off more than anything else. You need to accept it. You can accept that fathers over 35 give their kids longer telomeres. No, because you're right there like, no, they don't live longer. Bullshit, they don't. All the research is right on your face. I'm right there pissed off like the Lorax. Pissed off like the Lorax. Sometimes I forget some good lines that he's given out. I'm pissed off like the Lorax. (laughs) All right, little dude, you're pissed off like the Lorax. You want a juice box, buddy? Because you won't let it go. Just <laughs> <laughs> look at the fucking face. How does he pull his nostrils up that high? That's a talent. Look! Look how high! Look how hard he can wrinkle his face, and how high his nostrils get pulled up. Like that's just a fucking talent. <laughs> It's, I mean, this is, it's not funny in the in the in the in the context of this is if he was your partner this is the look you would get any time that you like said something that he didn't like but jesus christ this is this is the least threatening angry face i've ever seen if he looked at me he's actually said if he ever met me that he'd punch me in the face first of all i've seen how he throws a punch i just easily dodge it and he'd probably fall the fuck over and piss himself or something but if he made this face at me he might actually get a chance to hit me because i'd be laughing so goddamn hard i wouldn't be able to see i'm not a liar <laughs> liar and i've never been a liar you are the problem you little elitist youth bad and awakening kids that won't. <laughs> you know, it's this young adult popularity contest, and it's mostly the women, but it's mostly every dude and chicken or th- It's mostly the women, but it's mostly every dude. <laughs> Which is, so is it everyone? Is it everyone, little guy? Five. They just won't accept that they're bigots. And just won't accept the fact that the telomere is overabundance in them is what's causing their anger and their stress. And like, yeah, it's their telomere is overabundance that's causing the anger and stress. <laughs> and that, how does he not see? <laughs> Seems like he's got a little telomere is overabundance himself there. You're around it. I'm around it all the time. It, just, it angers me because you just aren't so elitist and so entitled. <laughs> he sounds like he's having a real hard time using the toilet while he's saying this. And, but then you'll, you'll go like, boom! But like a total narcissist, you see he snaps right back into something normal and much less threatening. And you get it, and it's like, oh, okay, but now you're just gonna go fuck every other gray-haired dude in Spokane, but not me. I would purposely fuck every other gray-haired dude in Spokane and make sure Lucas knew about it just to piss him off, but I'm outside his age range, so that wouldn't really matter. Uh, we should just bring back, like... Oh, this is a good part. I know this has been on a stream before, but if anyone new to Lucas sits through this fucking far, um, he does not have uh, very changed attitudes towards women from this part here. The sacrifices. You know, we take one virgin, and we throw her into a volcano one a year. We should do backtrack for the five that I've had a girlfriend. And dedicate it to an idea like fuel the word. Like we just take a thought and we throw her into a piano box and just toss her into a volcano because they're not listening. Why why specifically a piano box? It's mean to me. It's like everybody will go out with me, but they always live in other towns. Or they will go out with older guys, but only if they have money. Their cat is or they'll go out with every other homeless dude with the gray hair, but they won't go out with me. Well, yeah, because you're not homeless. I mean, he wasn't homeless. Yeah, why a piano box? Like, why Like, why specifically does he want to stuff a virgin? If they're a virgin, they're not even going to be a thought, but he doesn't want to use slang anyway. But why specifically a piano box? What 
point. I mean, if you already if you're already going to sacrifice someone to a volcano, which is a super racist trope, um, but why would why a piano box? This is really specific. I mean, I can't. <laughs> I can't be entirely sure he wouldn't say no because, uh, as some of us know who've been talking to him in DMs for the longest time, he is at the very least bi. But maybe if he looked like a pretty Zoomer girl, he wouldn't care. Yeah, he gets so close to realizing that the source of his problems are him, and then this huge self-defense mechanism he's built up over the years kicks in and it's suddenly everyone else's fault. I go around corners and I puke because you use me. You used him. Gray-haired old dudes use me because of the telomerase research. And then you little entitled punk kids under 35, which is what I consider everybody under 35, is a punk kid. You won't go out with me. You just intra-agial mate. It causes telomere attrition in your kids and telomerase overabundance, which causes your anger and your depression and your stress in your bigotry you age phobic fools yeah i mean there's a thin line between that or murders uh lucas at least doesn't seem to have like the he's got an ego but he doesn't think he's like the most beautiful guy in the world he basically just thinks he's good enough i am sick of it I've offered for five years any restaurant in Olympia. No, too hateful there. Or you'll just go to any other gray-haired guy now in Spokane. And they're like, uh... Yeah, I'll take any other gray hair. He's not even, he's not even a gray hair in this. He's still in his 30s and he's mostly blonde. Call me a creep. I'm blocking you. Call, fight me. I'm blocking you. Fight me. I'm blocking you out. Fight me. I'm blocking you. That's not how fights work. God, you dumb mother... Lucas, you're so disappointing. Just like, everything about him is just so just... It's funny, but it's like just fundamentally disappointing. Like, no wonder his parents don't want to... I don't want to remember that. Why did you make me remember that? That was really, really mean. Why did you make me remember that? I just... I have no tolerance for you whatsoever. You call me anything creepy you call me weird you call me a trip you, you know who's calling him a trip yeah i can see your comments uh you're obviously do doing this? it to hate you have more in common with the right wing oh shut up like language sexist language uh perhaps even racist language he's literally under a bridge and it just seems like there's no let up on it and like every story I tell involves that kind of bigoted, prejudiced, discriminatory language. That's intentional. That's me mocking people who do this all the time. So this is one of the defenses he uses occasionally when he gets called out on bullshit. Yeah, the chat's been lagging on and off. Uh, it's probably just YouTube. Um, his one excuse is I wasn't on my meds, which again is not an excuse because in a lot of these videos he was on his meds, especially the older ones. Um, but the other one is, oh, I'm doing it to mock the actual racists. It's like, yeah, no. I'm around other people. I mean, you go to parties and things, especially if you're a woman, and you go to these parties and you... You know, let's face it, mostly white people are using the homophobic stuff, but it, re it really doesn't, like, these days it's everybody, right? Like, the homophobic terms, the racial, soft race. So this was when he was still in a virtue signaling uh, Gen Z hates slurs, so I'm going to pretend that I hate them, too. This is, um, uh, the sexist attitudes where they basically just like fill the whole room with male voices so the women can only smile and can't get a word in edgewise. That's why you don't want me to go to your parties with you.
because that's literally not even on the long list of reasons people don't invite you to parties, Lucas. Because I swear to you, I'm going to be there and I might have a big ass grin on my face because you're all like 21 and I'm 40. It doesn't mean that I'm there enjoying you at all. It means that I'm there. Then why the fuck? So he basically just said if he was at this mythical party where he was the 40-year-old and everyone else was 21, well, it's not like I like you. Fuck off. No wonder no one wants you around. Kind of hating you for treating the women like crap. And the funny thing is, is that this prevent attitude towards women and gays and non-whites, even when there's been integration for the past heavily for the past 20 years i i went to parties when i was 18 and i saw this shit going on especially towards women because in those days the gays and the blacks were kind of doing their own thing but now it, it's intermixed but i'm still seeing a lot of like saying faggot saying nigga saying bitch and cunt and all this sort of stuff while you, you know, pour big stiff drinks for women and then pour them down their throat and then bitch and moan about other people and complain about other people while your attitudes are extremely bigoted. We're like in this lull where like for the past 30 years, men and people have pretty much just kept acting the same, you know? You would know this as a female. You would know this as a girl or a woman. You would know this as a gay person. You would know this as a black person or somebody who's Hispanic. And you, if you're there saying, you know, men don't have enough rights, you and I wouldn't be good friends anyway. If you were there like a supporting Sharia law or Christian law, let's face it, if you read the Bible, it's gross and sexist and blood sporty just as much as the Quran is, and we just sort of let it go because it's a Christian nation. See, that's what I mean. You don't really want me at your party because I will there, I will be there and sort of accept this, but I'm like 40 years old. I've seen this for like 20, 30 years. Have soul. If they human beings don't have soul. If they did, they wouldn't be so attracted towards money. Don't tell me that's human nature because as soon as you remove capitalism, you have an intelligent species that would behave like the rest of the animals. So I, I don't know where Lucas gets that, like, uh, nature is this, like, peaceful utopia, because it is fucking not. I mean, putting aside, you know, food chain stuff, I've watched groups of crows murder shit for fun. Um, I've seen cats, you know, stray cats, feral cats, kill things just for fun to play with it. Like, they'll cripple an animal and they'll just play with it till it dies of exhaustion and fucking fear. Uh, and then not eat it. Uh, dolphins are notorious for things like murder, rape, kidnapping stuff like that uh, nature is not fucking peaceful and even when you do get social animals they're only social within their own small family groups and tend to be extremely violent towards anything outside of that family group so clearly lucas doesn't know jack shit about how nature works either what a fucking surprise which means that they wouldn't hoard gigantic wrong. masses of wealth wrong including the wealth of the women. Wrong. There again, you see, he just referred to women as um, as property, as something that men should be sharing. Lucas does not think women are people. He thinks they are property to be shared. 
as though they were your property. Which is why you're asking for them to be traded like a commodity. And then turn around and not share. Other animal groups share. You're they don't share like that, you dumb fuck. You're less than animals. What kind of editing did he do on that? He's not worthy of love at all. He's a pedophile. I think uh, for a bunch of like communists, anarchists, socialists, democratic socialists, and people left of the Democrats, Gen Z dudes. Let's get back to this shitty apartment. Look at that stain. I noticed something rather interesting on my YouTube posts. Like, out of 1.73 thousand subscribers. 1.73 thousand. <laughs> okay, I mean, technically that's not wrong. He's just reading what's on the screen. Which isn't a lot for the YouTube community. I have more people like that on... I have more people than that on Facebook. So I kind of thought about doing something like that, but... My skill in programming is typically debugging other people's code and not writing my own code. Um, so it's just like way too much effort to do from the ground up for anything like that. Alone. Uh, <clears throat> but what I find really interesting is that like on some posts, it's just shocking that I would get like 100 down votes. Like I just don't get it at all because i'm entertaining and uh, my posts are funny and on some of them i'm doing rather benevolent things but uh, the interesting thing about that is if you look at the demographics of the united states the non-religious population is about 10 percent and the uh, atheist population maybe five percent so when I look at a post that's got 100 dislikes and a post that has 10 likes, what that tells me is that the non-religious population are the only ones that are not retarded, unlike you fucking retards. If you're into being a swishy, flamboyant, pussy male and you're straight that's fine but you're a little homophobia there um i mean like if you really want to i can find my secondary paypal that's not like even remotely tied to anything i ever use online i don't even remember if i have like a cash app or anything like it maybe i have a cash app i don't fucking know i don't know i can look if you're really that desperate to throw pocket change at me you're going to attract edgy, bitchy women. If you are a edgy dude, like most dudes, you're going to attract more feminine women. If you, you know, opposites attract, that's what I'm saying. Like if, if you're swishy and a dude and kind of a pussy to me, you don't come off as gay to me. You just come off like somebody who's spineless. And wants to be a sub, or a, or you're a you're a masochist. And again, that's all completely you, and that's. Com completely fine. I don't want to attract. I love that Lucas thinks he's a dom. Honestly, edgy female. And if I attract edgy females, I know it's because I'm being too swishy. So if I'm edgier, I will attract swishier women, which is more attractive to me. I like more feminine women than masculine. That's literally not. Damn it, Lucas. If you don't, don't be an agnostic because agnostics are the biggest. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Pussies on the planet. But if you're if you're a pussy and a dude, you're going to attract brashy women. I'm not attracted to brashy women. Neither are most dudes. 
I think if a chick walks past you and says like buddy or dude or nigga, the, the polite thing to do is just to say woman and then fuck off and go eat a sandwich or something. Because, I don't know, there could be like black guy around or something. She's like, really, it's like this the younger chicks that do that. Buddy? Woman? They don't need to treat you like you're the subordinate. You're not like a, a retard or something. Just be like, girl? Sweetheart? You know, go eat, go eat a pizza, go get a pizza or something. Like, fuck them. Let's say you're offended by certain words. Fuck shit down, nigga. So this is one that I posted that was in the compilation video that he reported and had deleted. Just an example. But you drive a car in the year is 2020. Oh, Lucas is definitely submissive. There's nothing about Lucas. Lucas is, I do a lot of work with dogs and I have for the past like 23, 24 years. And I mean like work, work with dogs, standard agility and obedience stuff. But I work with IPO dogs, which used to be called shoots. And uh, so I work with protection dogs, like train protection dogs. I can handle protection dogs. And when I still worked at shelters, I was the one that got assigned to work to the dogs with fucking bite histories because I knew how to handle them. Um, if you watch the Outcast Owls interview, by the time I got on with Lucas, I handled him like I handle an unsocialized, genetically unstable dog. You set your boundary and you're firm with it. You're not mean about it, but you basically pull his ass back in line if he tries to get out of it. And Lucas turns real meek, real fast. Lucas is an absolute sub. There's nothing dominant about him. He's not even a switch. He's just a fucking sub. Probably a brat, too, but... Which one of us is doing more damage? To the environment, somebody who says nigga or somebody who drives a that's a little n word goddamn car. Why do I even need to ask this question, nigga? Yeah, this was one I included in the video that he was so mad about that he reported. Yeah, Lucas would probably be a it definitely would be a brat. He wouldn't know what a brat was, but he would be like an inadvertent brat. Oof, looking rough in that one. Nice little pube beard. I'm not going to date women who are... I mean, he could have just stopped it. I'm not going to date women because he's never going to get one. Overweight or... Lucas, the over 300 pound man, does not going to date women who are overweight. Underweight, because I've already had that experience. Or underweight, because he'd probably fucking crush them. I'm not going to date women who are older than me or around my own age. They don't want you either. Because I've already had that experience. 18 to 24, period. There's no negotiating. He's negotiated it up to 30, by the way. Um... I'm not saying my experiences were bad. In fact, a lot of them were wonderful, but I'm not going to repeat those experiences. Ooh, spooky. Oh, <laughs> you ever notice that Christmas music is just as creepy as uh, Halloween music half the time? Nobody cares. And, uh, Obama, that's racist. Oh, hey, what? I know Omar and uh, Obama is or see the difference is is like between the the use of the word nigga and uh not knowing who fred hampton is or hating aoc and ilan omar and uh, obama that's racist hating people of color is racist using a term is not racist i can essentially say obama was my nigga if you don't want me saying that because I'm white, you're a racist. And yeah, I realize that like a lot of Generation Z, the young adult crowd, are using the word nigga against even younger women, like 25 year olds, I guess even millennials are using the word nigga, white and black and brown. And it's getting 18 year old chicks to have sex with them because all these people don't like hip hop. 
I don't know if it would fly with like Greta Thunberg people, but it might because I've met environmental activist type people that say nigga that are white. So, I mean, if you're all bent out of shape about words, but don't look at the problems, like if you're all bent out of shape about the use of the word faggot and don't look at the real problems of like people being stoned again. to death and beat up for being gay, you have to realize I'm not using the term faggot against gay people. Neither is yes, anything really except the racists and the bigots. I'm not using the term nigga against black people. Bitch, it's a racial slur. But if I have to explain that to you, you're a dweeb. Oh, I'm a dweeb, huh? I've met people that are like nerdy computer types that still say the word nigga. Mm -hmm. there, there's a difference between a, being a like a computer geek and just a straight up social dweeb. And Walter Fate and people like him are dweebs. Oh, he said, nigga, he's a racist. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, black people still aren't treated fairly in society. And uh, you have to point out the use of one word. Uh, who's Fred Hampton? Oh, you don't know? Whoa. By that. I lost track of what he's even rambling My about nigga. at this point. You are a nerd. Your little fascist language. Please. Oh, look at that. It's all dark and scary. No, it's not. What is it? It's Christmas know? time. It's the holidays. Hey, Merry impeachment. I, uh, some people get all bent out of shape about Christmas music, too, but like the. Some some of that stuff is like real ominous and cool, like don't 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 just say minor key and go fucking hell. Oh, listen to him just sing some slurs. Smudge. Happy 420, everybody. Uh, I have a question to the black people. Uh, can I say nigga today because I'm white? <laughs> uh, or is it still considered racist? Are you going around saying women can't say dude because it's sexist? You're, you, you're not? Well, then shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm going to smoke some weed, bitch. You know what I hate? The sound of my own voice. We all hate the sound of your own voice. That is a Mercer sore on his face. He picks at them. The sound of my own voice, I, I sound gay sometimes, don't I? I mean, I sound kind of gay. Like, I'm totally straight, and I am fully in support of same-sex marriage. But my voice is a little faggy, and I don't really like the sound of my own voice. You know? <clears throat> what I also don't like are people that agree with me when I say negative shit about myself. I probably hate that even. Ma'am, we just came to clown down on 420. Not a Republican. I'm not really a Democrat anymore. I don't think a lot of us are. I'm not voting for a rapist against a rapist. You know, bitches. <laughs> you. You, you woman, you sound like a dude, brother.
So like he is definitely not sober here. Um, because this was during his um the cri- I just call it the crispy summer because he was just like brown and crispy the whole summer. Like he he tans like leather. Um but he there are a few videos and a lot of pictures from the time with him just like fucking day drinking in downtown Spokane, like out of huge boxes of wine and shit. Like he was definitely drunk on cheap gas station wine. Maybe he should smoke some 420 and calm down. And enjoy your day. Because it's been a holiday all month. It it doesn't give reason for you to slack on the day of the month of the year of 420. Hey, it's the COVID-19 play. Can I get 401 more? Brother? Yeah, he's definitely not sober. Are you a simp ass, class sage phobic religionist? Gen Z, you need to stop with the hate. Hey, cunt ticket. Yeah, Uh you, you fucking closeted dyke. All right. Gen Z woman. Are you sure I'm in it? Totally the wrong gender, but hi. Incel. Are you age phobic? Because I'm Gen Z. Ka, ka. Oh, ageist? Religionist? Oh, I got to be a fucking Christian or believe in God. You, You mythic state. So this is another thing, too, that he loops back and forth about, like a lot of other things, is he will assume that the reason you don't want to date him is because he's an atheist. It's not the reason. Pinky piece of poo-poo. Yeah, those two composite front teeth look so ridiculously unnatural. Hey, he's such a great ally, isn't he? It's just amazing. Oh. Yeah. I came in all wholesome on you. Just to switch it up on you. You faggot. At least he said that word right this time. Hey, you called me a creeper. You called me a simp. You are. How's it feel? Yeah, I don't like bigots. But guess what? You're the reason I don't believe in God. Good. I'll keep at it. But at least it's 420. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Nice mercy. 420, bitch. He's so crispy. He's just like craters. Look at him. He's using some kind of filter there because the, even the, the lighting wouldn't explain for why some of his shit is just really, really smooth. My approach to life is pretty simple. Pretty fucked. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not because a lot of people don't approach life this way. Just look at that huge MRSA scab. Just, oh, fuck. But my approach to life is this. <clears throat> One of my approaches, I, I've had these approach to life videos before. No, you haven't. But my approach, one of my approaches to life is like, if you don't like me, I don't care. That's not profound. Like most people go through life like that. That's just a pretty standard adult thing. But I'm not going to stick around. I have one religion called Dudism that I have a friend Dudism? that follows religiously. Be- just look at how patchy that fucking thing is. Just shave. What is this? Oh, he's eating. No. It's big old titties hanging out there. Hey, you Democrats are conservatives. I'm a communist. You sound like... Does he, does he have bruises on his titties? A bunch of lesbians and faggots to me. Lesbians and... There's a difference. Okay. Learn something new. No, a trannies. Oh, we're into transphobia now. Okay. Like one day, <clears throat> these Zoomers they might wake up one day and like they're a horse. What? You wake up one day and you're a horse? All right, we'll see where we're going here. Like Thursday, they're so. I don't care. 
So Lucas won't care if you wake up one day and you're a horse. Just keep that in mind. Wake up one day and you're Friday. Or the color blue. What is he two days. talking about? Did he just say in two dicks? Two dicks. Two dicks and you like oh, so you say Klingons, okay. Two dicks. On top of two dicks and say butthole. Like two dicks on two dicks and dicks. I don't He's uh, got a thing for double penetration, it sounds like. And from the way he's wording it happening to him. But if you call me a creeper. Creeper. You're a faggot. Fair enough. I really love blue humor. So this is another one of the defenses that he goes to. Between this and I'm, I was off my meds, um, if he gets called out for the shit that he says, he claims it's edgy humor. Like he thinks he's like Sam Kinison or, or George Carlin or fucking Bill Maher. Bill Maher is like the least funny person on the planet, but he idolizes him. Body humor, sexual humor. Ain't funny if you're the only one laughing fatty. Here's something I found out. I found out that if you're a man and you have sex with another man, after you ejaculate and you say no homo. He's telling a joke, by the way. No afterwards, it means you're still straight. Like you can bakaki as many dudes as you want. You can fraught and come on their penises. And like come in their assholes, and they can like come all. Anyone else feel like he's just describing a fantasy weekend for himself here? Over you. As soon as you say no homo, you're still heterosexual. He claims he's telling a joke. I'm not sure what the punchline is. Maybe the punchline is he thinks it's a joke. I really I love that blue phrase. humor. Body humor. Oh, I must sexual. have doubled up. Homo. Uh, <sighs> that's up to the girl. Well, you know what I said earlier? He should shave. I don't know. He looks bad either way. He wants to sauce a lot of egg rolls, apparently. Whatever. I'm not part of the patriarchy, you dumb fuckers. I mean, you're a man, so technically by default. I don't care how much money I spend on a girl. I'm not going to be like, now you owe me sex. Literally all of his past videos talk about them owing him sex, if that happens. Um, my guess is he does more of a rub the nub, um, or he just gets like one of those toys that's meant for like FTM guys. You're welcome for that mental image. If you think that, you're a fucking redneck or something. You're just dumb. You don't... Oh, man. There's so many fucking retards in the world. Gen Z. Solidarity. She about 18. And no, I'm not listening to this again. Have them knock uh, Democrats and kind of agreeing with them. But at the same time, I could knock Republicans, too. If you were ballsy enough and a white guy, you would try to date black chicks or Arabic chicks mm -hmm. or Chinese girls and create a 50-50 mixed race, like half Caucasian, half not Caucasian child. I'm pretty sure just Lucas Warner itself is a slur at this point. Like, just, just stop calling them incels. Just call them Lucas Warner. So, does that still make me a racist? Yes. Uh oh, look at those short eye telomeres he's got going on there. God, I hate rap music. I hate anybody who tries to rap, especially white people. So you hate yourself. Okay. Yo, know, they'll call me a racist for that. But African Americans had more of an influence on rock and roll 
than they ever did on rap. They had more of an influence on country music. Virtue signaling. Music than they ever did on rap. Uh, excuse me? Who's the fucking racist? You. I want all the lovely Gen Z women in Spokane. I mean, if you're old enough to vote, you're not older than 24. I'm not going to explain why I've already explained. Oh, this is the greed monger one. If you're wearing headphones, be careful because this one gets loud. And I think it's been in another stream before. But it's one of my favorites, so I'm doing it again. Um, fertility or young social. Um, I'm going to say Lucas, just because Lucas doesn't really have the potential to actually harm someone. He's, he's too stupid. He's too slow. He's too physically fucked up to actually, you know, really harm someone. Russell, Russell Greer is capable of actually harming someone if he actually got to that point. Um, and I like to keep the kings of incels being people who are generally harmless, even if you do push them. List. Socialist leaning. In fact, I'm in a homeless shelter. Homeless shelter he's banned from. Pretty much shows you that you don't understand your Bible because there's a hundred verses in it that say worshiping money is evil and you're going to go to hell. Uh, So basically, Lucas's logic here, and I'm going to guess all of you are still familiar with Lucas, but Lucas's logic here is that if you don't date a homeless person, it means you worship money. There's no other possible reason that you wouldn't date a homeless person other than you worship money. Uh, Bernie Sanders upon you. Yeah, okay. Bernie Sanders upon you. That was the thing he was doing for a while. Yeah, I want to hear more Oliver Dangle. And I, I, I don't know, maybe we were too harsh on his little review of his story because he doesn't seem to want to write it anymore. But I don't know, he, he thought, I mean, yeah, we were, uh, we were making fun of him. But it was like, for once, the Oliver Dangle thing, for once it was people, I mean, I guess technically still laughing at him, but it was enjoying something that he put out. Maybe not in the exact way he wanted it to be enjoyed, but it was something that was enjoyable. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to do it anymore. He doesn't uh, doesn't want to have me think anything about him as enjoyable. I bet he feels like rotting cantaloupe skin. Yeah, you're evil. Change your evil ways if you're left wing. I'm not here to date people who are right wing or, you know, people that won't see past the money. Wound was just stupid. I mean, not that the Oliver Dangle saga wasn't stupid, but Wound was stupid and boring. At least Oliver Dangle was so fucking absurd. It was funny. Your age difference. I'm not here to tell her. Hey, it's Rowdy Rodriguez, or actually Rowdy Pete, but I like Rowdy Rodriguez better. Very biggest. Do you understand? I'm surprised there wasn't a character called Handy Randy who did the repairs. Stammy, I'm not. I'm not. I, I think your your Christian God says you're going to go to hell for your bigotry. Well, like if you're not Christian, it doesn't fucking matter. Again, another common tactic that Lucas uses. He claims to be atheist, but he's constantly telling Christians that they're going to go to hell if they won't fuck him. I'm an atheist because of this. You, you, do you understand that, that you're just making it seem like atheism is a better position because Christian... I mean, that's honestly probably the closest Bernie Sanders would get to something useful with Lucas. Is like Lucas is a reason that we need mental hair, me, mental hair, mental health care reforms. I mean, he's someone who has for years fallen through the cracks entirely. He may not have ever been fixable. But he should have been in a place like Malin Place years ago. Um, but yeah, Lucas is sort of a, a good example of, of what happens to people who fall through the cracks to some degree. Christianity is right there saying, yeah, we worship God, but we're not going to date dudes unless they're in our own economic class or above, even though we support Bernie Sanders. Can I make handy Randy Myosi in, uh, in Lucas's little story? I mean, he's already got Rowdy Pete Rodriguez and Oliver Dangle. I could be Handy Randy that just like steals all their shit and holds it hostage for money. Sanders kind of rhetoric. Uh, no, you're wrong. Three you bomber. need to stop doing that. Spit, spit, spit. And actually camera. show me where the women are at. Oh, you don't like that? They're on Lower Post Street, you dumbass. You told us that. I'm angry. Well, you don't have a girlfriend for me. You're a waste of my time, simpleton. I mean, if you do, then you're not a simpleton. 
He doesn't know what the word simpleton means. I mean, the simpleton doesn't know what the word simpleton means. Jesus Christ, I've been at this for three hours. Where's the dog? Why is he not wanting to go out yet? I think he actually went into the bedroom to get away from me. Because I'm talking and he's trying to sleep. So I want all the women in Spokane. All the... He wants all the women in Spokane. The Gen Z women in Spokane, Washington. Oh, all the Gen Z home. women, sorry. Um, <clears throat> if they're nice to me. I've been in the park just sitting there. Some dumb fat bitch came up. Like, Lucas has any cause to call anyone fat. Jesus Christ. Let's say look at a mirror, but his reflection probably doesn't fit in half of them. She's like, yeah. She, she said something snarky, and I said, bye. I didn't even say that. I just got up and left. because She said something snarky, and I said, bye. I, I, I didn't say anything. I actually just got up and left. Jesus Christ, Lucas. Oh, no, I got headphones in. Um, I have headphones in. So basically what the dog is hearing is like me talking to the screen. He has no idea what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure he wants to sleep. I'm actually surprised he hasn't needed to go out. Usually by this time of night, he wants to go out and have his midnight pee. Maybe I should take him out and do that in a few. I'm, I'm tired of it. You do not get to fucking run your mouth at me and talk shit. I said, be nice to me. Go fuck yourself. I don't like you. He doesn't like us, guys. Come on, say it. Say greedmonger. This is the greedmonger one, isn't it? I'm a little pissed off that the House of Charity isn't offering showers anymore. <laughs> people not staying at their shelter. Uh, people are going to catch the coronavirus, probably me, and die. We should be so damn lucky. He did get coronavirus, but he didn't die, obviously. So, thanks, Christians! You fucked up! You money worshippers! Fuck you! If I had a girlfriend, I'd be calm. Do I have a girlfriend? No, I do not. I'm not calm because fuck you. It's like spitting all over his phone. Jesus Christ. If you're left wing, change your ways. Stop being evil. You know, stop worshiping money. Stop being age phobic. And fuck you. I hope a comet strikes this planet because fuck you. I hope we all die of coronavirus. Well, then you die without getting laid. You classist money worshippers. Okay, so this is actually not surprising, and I'm saying this again as, as someone who's very unfortunately familiar with living with someone who has narcissistic personality disorder. This is a very common thing that narcissists do. They can go from that screaming, frothing, incoherent rage, and they just suddenly turn it right off. And they don't know what you're overreacting about. They weren't really yelling. I mean, you made them upset, but it's okay now. Because you've learned your lesson. That's a really, really common narcissistic personality trait, uh, to be able to go from that raging, screaming, throwing things, getting borderline violent, to just immediately turning it off. Um, it's just, it's a friggin' hallmark of that fucking disorder. So yeah, that doesn't surprise me to see him do that. That's a really classic narcissist uh, trait. However. Here's a solution. You can get me a girlfriend. Um, no. I'll give you a hundred dollars for the hookup if we go no. on one IRL date that I pay for or she pays for. I'd rather pay. I wonder if I put the wig on and put the pretty makeup on for the account that he thinks is someone in their twenties. If I could get a hundred bucks to like go eat dinner with him and ditch him as soon as I had the money, hundred bucks wouldn't be worth. And that's only if he's paying. Because if I have to pay, he's paying me more than a hundred bucks to pay for Plinker Dagger or whatever. The Fucking mediocre place to take me. Pay for it because I want to feel like a man. It's been eight. I want to pay for it because I want to feel like a man. <laughs> You're not a man. You're genetically a man. Maybe you identify as a man, but socially, dude, you are. You are. You don't qualify. You don't qualify as a woman either. You're just kind of one of those nasty little things that hide under it. It's not even nice to call him a troll. Give me a girlfriend. I have a hundred bucks. Eight years single. I've dated older women, women my own age. They don't have the uh, chemistry to really keep. <laughs> the dog can't hear Lucas. He can only hear me. I've got headphones in. My dog is annoyed by me. Be aroused. Uh, I'm not here to really play your games, your head games. 
you're all at the bar, you stinking wealthy compared to me. Uh, they, you're greedy. Greed monger! <laughs> Fuck you and your greed! <laughs> your greed is what is destroying this planet mm. through extortion and pollution. Fuck you! I just love it when he's angry. It's so entertaining. All greed must die! Oh, spray it a little more there, buddy. I'll give you $100 to prove I'm not you! So he'll give you $100 to prove that he's not you. This is going to give people $100 then. Sure. I'll come down when I have a girlfriend. No, Otherwise, won't. fuck you! You believe in God. Get therapy, you fucking simple morons. It's an illusion. You know, Lucas telling anyone to get therapy is just funny. Can you imagine how obnoxious he would be in, what was it, Riverfront Park? With a fucking bullhorn? God, he's the worst. You crispy. Hey, there he's drinking out of the wine box in the middle of downtown. Classy man. Oh, here. You get to all watch this if you've never seen this one before, because I know some of you haven't been around a year. You're going to watch him drink a bottle of peanut sauce, because I had to see it once. Now you have to see it. He's just going to drink a fucking bottle of peanut sauce. Just drink a bottle. Just... He's going to dump the peanut sauce on Cheetos. Yeah. It like, literally looks like someone just Dude, shit on a plastic hot. bag. That peanut sauce pulls it down. So let me get this straight. Guys, don't say anything. You being bitches, don't cock block me. Let me say this. You're democratic socialists. You don't like the power of money. Oh, what is this? And yet your boyfriend always... Hey, Satan, it's your boy. Did he mix peanut sauce with Thousand Island dressing on a tortilla that he's laid on the ground? Well, he's eating off the ground there. There's a tortilla on the damn sidewalk. Oh, yeah, it's not a sidewalk. It's a... Oh, still, what the fuck? Oh, look what it recommended. What I'm going to do now one. is approach you like you were a hot 21-year-old chick. He says he can't do this while he looks at his front-facing camera or rear face or whatever the fuck camera it is that faces you on a phone. I, it's too late for me to know that now. Um... He has to close his eyes or he'll give himself a boner. Or a guy, but I'm sure he means himself because it sure as shit doesn't affect me. But I can't do this with my eyes open because it'll give a guy a boner. And it's real awkward for me, so I have to shut my eyes. Hi, how are you? That's all you have to do. But if you're younger than 35, it's not going to work. The, the biochemistry of them being high progesterone and you with the testosterone drope. Will not aggravate them like it would if you were a 20 year old guy, 21 year old guy or an 18 year old guy doing something. Anything under 25 that just did what I did would not be able to do what I did. So So if you're over 
35. Try that move, but with your eyes open. No, no, try it with your eyes closed, or try it with your eyes closed. Just walk up to some random woman with your, close your eyes and say, hi, I'm Lucas, how are you? Just, just see if that works. Towards a 21-year-old chick. Like, I grew up in a, a mostly outdoorsy family, and I still spend a lot of time outdoors, and I'm not going to freak out if, like, my food falls on the ground and gets dirt on it. I'm probably the type of person that's going to brush the fucking dirt off and just eat it anyway. But I'm also not going to film that and put it anywhere. I don't pick food out of the trash, but I don't care about a little bit of dirt. Um, but you're still not going to catch me picking up food up the goddamn sidewalk and eating it. I'm talking about, like, I pick it off the grill and it falls into the fucking ash pit, okay? <laughs> I'll press the fucking ashes off of it and eat it. It's just charcoal ash. If you're younger than that, you're going to get in trouble. But go ahead and try it. It's going to cause your entire relationship to break into dry shit. Ugh. God, I make the worst thumbnails here. That one's just terrible. Oh, really? Just like homophobia. Look at this meme. Look at this stupid meme. Now, could you imagine... There's somebody in one of those stalls. Could you imagine being stuck at a homeless shelter and, like, every day this fat motherfucker is in there making videos about how high school girls don't want to fuck him? There's 107 verses in the Bible against the worship of money. Hey, Bobby. 65% of the country is Christian. Uh, the Bible says to love everybody. And yet this place is filled with hot college chicks? Why would a shelter that caters specifically to men be filled with hot college chicks, you dumb fuck? You, you do, like, he does realize that a lot of shelters are not co-ed, right? Like, the women and men are kept separated for many reasons. Why would there be a men's-oriented homeless shelter full of college chicks you absolute dumb fuck yeah those charities tend to not be in the greatest areas of town and yeah hypocrite not crispy yellow is not a good color on him by the way that is not a good looking shirt I mean, a perfectly fine shirt on just about anyone else, but yellow makes him look like super orange right here. It's like a matter of looking mean. My Nazi ass like a butter tip. What is he muttering about? Chewing your mouth shut. Like he's 40, he's only, he's going to be 43 this year, and he still doesn't know how to chew with his mouth shut. Is he gonna eat? This video isn't that long. Sure. Oh. I share, he whispers as he shoves the entire chip into his fucking maw. So if I was gay, you would you question me then? Yeah, I would question why a gay dude in his 40s was after a 16-year-old. You would? Yeah, Lucas's mukbangs or the ones that he thinks are mukbangs are the absolute worst. It's just awful. Here, you know, since you mentioned not wanting to watch him eat, I'm going to jump forward in this one to where he's eating and it's disgusting. Oh, this is the one with the steak! He did a so he did if you missed the toaster oven saga, he put the steak in a I think it was a a 25 ounce steak, turned it into leather, covered it in mayo, and just like ate it with his bare hands. Look at this shit. Like how disgusting. 
How tough it is that he has to rip it like that. Yeah, the music's actually terrible. I'll just mute it. Because he doesn't actually talk. He just, like, eats this fucking culinary abortion. Yeah, he thinks that's a... He thinks that is, like, a testament to how good of a cook he is. That's just abuse, what he did to that steak. Look at it, it's gray. You can see the inside. It's just fucking gray. Yeah, it's totally a flex to burn a steak in a toaster oven and then leave a mess for someone else to clean up. I mean, if you have to rip it like it's leather, my dude, you overcooked it. Yeah, he didn't even season it before he put it in. He just, like, threw sriracha mayo on it. Just, and, yeah, then he went for the cheeseburger. What is the measure of an anti-massagerist? An anti- Why is his mask up so high? Anyway, yeah, he went for a cheeseburger afterwards, um, which is the part I wanted to get to because he chews like a fucking cow. Well, I would... That mask is almost worn through. I think it would be somebody that would be class conscious and realize that the patriarchy is... Honestly, watching Lucas struggle to keep a mask on his face properly is just one of the small joys in life. Students. It would be somebody that understands other forms of bigotry. When you fight them, you mm -hmm. have more culture in your life. So if you're a white, cis, het male, and At least he's not saying cis, shit anymore. He was saying Sachet for a while. Um, <clears throat> so after a 25-ounce steak, he went out for a burger. Keep that in mind. Okay, this motherfucker right here. It's like ectoplasm from the old Ghostbusters toys. It's like the best damn mayo I've ever had in my life. It's high basil. I'm an incredible. I got this other one, too. It's just so, like, I don't like watching mukbangs to begin with. I think they're just disgusting and wasteful for the most part, and I hate the sounds people make when they eat. But, like, Lucas is particularly disgusting to watch when he eats. When he chews like he's chewing cud. He can't, obviously, he can't keep his fucking mouth shut. Like, most people learn to chew with their mouth shut by the time they're eight years old, and maybe have to have a few reminders while they're still little kids. He's a fucking adult, and he can't remember to chew with his mouth closed. The little server woman used to like her. And now he's creeping on this waitress that he has. Um, oh, God, could you imagine being a waitress at some place and that fucking creep comes in? She guessed that I would like this one, and I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, she probably guessed it because it's one of the more popular condiments, and it would be more likely that somebody would like it versus not liking it. Trust me, it's not personal. She doesn't like you. This place is great because, like, if you want extra sides, you get two for free. But if you want extra, it's only 50 cents. So it's like literally every restaurant. You just pay a little bit extra for extra sauce. That doesn't make it incredible. That's just like a normal restaurant thing. Like the gourmet side uh, or the gourmet uh, dipping sauces so there's other things that you can get too but these are 50 cents a piece but you get two for free and mcdonald's like a, a packet of ranch costs 80 cents how many of these big corporations are pieces of shit i like the little guy they think incredible burgers the little guy there, there's there's also local places in Japan called the onion i've never eaten that but I find it hard to believe he's never eaten somewhere. somewhere. They're not open. Apparently, they have like really good burgers, pizza, and macaroni. And I'm always looking for some place to eat. So as soon as that place opens, as soon as the onion opens, I'm going to eat there. I just don't know what I want to get, but I'm going. To eat. I'm usually a big fan of Red Robin, but I've been coming to the Credit Burger. For almost a year now. Oh, yeah, he definitely uses uh, eating to self-soothe. That's kind of a stem from, like, childhood, where whenever something would go wrong, his um, his mom would take him out for ice cream. The first time I came to Incredible Burger was shortly before the BLM protest, where the police got violent. And uh, I met Kiki. But 
she has a boyfriend now. So, you know, me being the guy that I am, I can't be the side. Um, but I've been coming to Incredible Burger for about a year. And I think I like these guys better than Red Robin. Red Robin has more burgers, but the ones you get here are like different kind of animals. I know it's like a vegan's worst nightmare, but you you, you know me and like liking how to cook vegan food and bragging about that. I still like places like Incredible Burger. This is a, a peanut butter and jelly burger. Oh, I would convert to veganism if the chick made me a vegan meal and like slept with me, then I would become a vegan. But uh, until then, I'm not Christian, you know, I'm not gonna become a brony or something before the relationship. Oh, whatever. I think I'm gonna sit and eat this meat mouthy, looks disgusting PB and J with whatever the hell's on it. Looks like it might be more of that. It's not that Thai sauce, but it's green. No, it is. This is my favorite burger here. Peanut butter and jelly burger. If I'm not mistaken, it has jalapeno. Does it? Is that jalapeno? Is that pickle? No, that one's not shaped like a... That, that is definitely jalapeno. So it's jalapeno. I just had her throw a piece of cheese on it. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. It doesn't even come with cheese. Last time I got it, it didn't have cheese. So I got this. And it looks like probably white cheddar or pepper jack. So I'm just going to eat it. It's just probably good. That's the best burger I've ever had. That must be the best burger I've ever had. I think this might be the best burger I've ever had. This is peanut butter and jelly burger. An incredible burger. I don't like being a corporate shill or anything, but if you got an incredible burger. I don't like being a corporate shill, but I'm going to shill this business. I'm pretty sure her name wasn't even Kiki. Uh, and my guess is, I, I think she existed. There was somebody about that, but I'm pretty sure that, that she didn't give him her real name. I sure shit wouldn't give Lucas my real name. They're better than McDonald's. They're the little corporations, and they're, they're smaller than Red Robin. Red Robin made a billion dollars last year. I looked that up on Forbes, okay? These guys made less than a billion dollars last year. That burger just looks disgusting. I mean, I'm sure it tastes fine. It just really looks bad. Take an incredible burger. Don't know anything about them except they're everywhere in this country. I guess they've been around. They're a great country I don't, or a great uh, company. I don't know anything about them. Sure, Lucas. Yeah, what the fuck? It's like 1 a.m. I should really cut this off. Like a decade? Maybe two? In some of the bigger cities? I'd have to look that up because I have no idea. Just but God, watching think me, of me is as a just dad. The worst. If I were a dad and I was, I could, I got a job, I could take the kids here. Oh boy. If he was dad, he could take the kids to Incrediburger. Jesus Christ. I can already afford this. Yeah, he can already I'm afford a burger. To become a biologist. Oh, he, this was before he went to college and flunked out the second time, so he's going to become a biologist. And earn a PhD. And get his PhD at a fucking community college. Good night. And it could take 15 years. Oh. I'm still trying to get the AA. Just, oh. Don't talk with your mouth full. He'll never get an AA. He doesn't even have a GED. I had an 80 on my last assignment, and they shut the server down. And they're supposed to have it up by 8 o'clock on Saturday. So whenever that's happened in the past with my other class, um, like a year ago, 2019, well, I started. Um, yeah, I think he ate up all of his financial aid chances. I don't think he can get financial aid anymore, so there's probably not going to be a college worm 3.0. Again in 2021, so it's been a two-year break. But back when they shut the servers down in, in English, math and stuff like that, they, they teach you more time. Just fucking and I really wanted boring. to get to my homework because I got an 80 on that last assignment. Then I had like... He's like fucking proud of getting a low B. Like... 
Yeah, it's better than an F, but it's a low V. That's not something to brag about. Here, look at this nasty food. It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults, and I got the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's a mask. Oh, here we go. Nasty food. Ooh, look at that. That looks so wonderful there. That looks like, like, that looks like a chef in the house. Because it's got a gourmet. That looks good as hell, man. His headphone cords are laying in the food. Just like, oh, that tray is so dirty. Who puts olives in an oven? I mean, unless you're making a pizza, like, why would you put just like straight olives in the oven? Oh. Yeah, Fifteen minutes for the first round. Three seventy-five with the package. Maybe another fifteen after that. God, his headphones were just like his dirty ass headphones were just laying in the food. Like, ugh. he's a good cook, y'all. Now we're just gonna cover it with. Pepper flakes? Oh, mesquite seasoning. Oh, oh, mesquite on olives. You're supposed to season and ketchup. Like, I know I've seen this before, but it's just as disgusting as it was the first time. Like, this man has no functional taste buds. Like, he doesn't. Now is he putting barbecue sauce on it? Oh my god. This is like a meal you serve to somebody you hate. Like if I hated somebody and never wanted them to come back to my house again, I would make this dish. Hey, somebody's going in there. Yeah, little kids have an excuse because they're like three or four when they do shit like this. Like, Lucas is an adult and he likes to think he's a functional adult. This is not something a functional adult would make. I mean, granted, if you were like super drunk or like really high, maybe you'd make something like that. I'm hoping I stay up long enough that the last pizza place in the bar district is closed because I don't fucking need it pizza at two in the morning but you know I, I live in the bar district on campus so that's what's open at two in the morning oh he's putting it back in the oven why like i know i've seen these but they just get worse every time He's a good this cook for anyone new. He's a good cook. I think what gets me here on this one is he took pre-made, pre-seasoned meatballs and then added completely unnecessary extra seasoning to them, including more salt. Then there was the salt from the cheese and the salt from the olives, the salt that comes in ketchup, the salt that comes in those sauces. It's just like fucking gross. Total cooking time, 35 minutes. Oh, hopefully it's all burnt. Yeah, but, uh, thermometer. I can't check to see if it's one sixty-five. Just all fucking burnt. He just warm. screwed up that whole tray. He never cleaned those trays. That's pretty. Good. Actually, no. Um, after a bunch of people left comments on these videos and on Kiwi Farms about how it was disgusting that he never cleaned the trays, he made a video of him specifically uh, cleaning the trays. Mm -hmm. Fruity. Fruity meatballs. Oh. It's like how does something look with a green olive and cheese curd. How does something look burnt and raw at the same time? Like this is the kind of video I want to sit Gordon Ramsay down and force him to watch. 
Based in sounds fancy, like some dude patronizing him in the background. Oh, are you giving me this stink eye? You're being very sweet. Half of them with barbecue sauce, half of them with ketchup. Plastic utensils, toaster. Oh, I'm really hot. Oh. It's probably really hot. The PhD candidate says after putting food in his mouth that just 45 seconds or less earlier came out of a toaster oven. Fucking genius. 165. Oh. Like even staggering drunk or so stoned, I don't know if reality is real. I wouldn't eat that. Mm. Huh? If that's what grandma's asshole tastes like, grandma's getting some anal aliens. He just said his own cooking was what grandma's asshole tastes like. That's not a. First of all, how do you know that? Don't answer. Second, why would you continue eating it at that point? What? Are there drunk people walking by the house? Apparently these drunk students are coming home and the dog is telling me this. All right, show me. Yeah, they live there. It's okay. Oh, oh, is this the lamb? This is the lamb. And he put all, all the no, 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 no. At least this is going to cure me of wanting late night food. Hot peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's about to clock out. That's so bad. Yeah, he's about seven months old now, and I actually found a vet that will do um, vasectomies instead of neuters. Um, he wasn't going to be neutered until he was about two years old anyway, because he's a large breed. Um, but I wouldn't mind eating him a vasectomy earlier just to weigh, you know, lower the chance of accidental getting near someone who hasn't spayed their dog yet. But uh, yeah, it's about a four and a half hour drive to that vet, and they're going to get back to me next week about scheduling uh, or to see if they want to wait till he's older before he goes in for it. Bubbling and everything. Someone just got yelled at to put their mask on. Nasty looking. I don't like my pork too underdone, so I want another five minutes. It's 25. It looks so nasty. pork underdone. People don't tell you that shit. But it's not really my thing. I don't like it. It tastes gross. Guarantee that tastes gross overdone or underdone. Like, if you cook pork right, you should be able to cut it with a spork. Um, oh, puppy's barking to go outside. I'm going to put on something that's more than a minute left and let the dog out. Be back in a minute. It's not in the cars for you. I'm pretty good at insults, and I got the internet and a lot of free time. 3,000 people are dying a day from the coronavirus. You're not abiding social distancing rules. You're just out there hoeing. Where's the virus protection? Fighting? Not good enough. 
One out of six people are dying a day in Los Angeles. And the malls are still open. The malls are still open? Where's the vaccine, Biden? Not good enough. Where's the vaccine, Biden? Here's something people don't talk about much. Biden, hey, give us our money. Oh, $1,400. Yay. What you owe us is $1,000 a month for the year of this shit. Whatever, Biden. Oh, Spokane with your fucking multiple girlfriends. You just hate greed so much. Whatever, Spokane. Whatever, Biden. Oh, you're out there hoeing during COVID. I don't have any demands of you. I just would like you to shut the fuck up. Two girlfriends. Oh, but you hate greed so much. I don't have any demands of you. You can do that. I just would like you to shut the fuck up. Oh, you're from Bunny, but you gotta go shut the fuck up. Oh, you like Biden. Put his feet in the fire. Do some money. You greedy motherfucker. Shut the fuck up and use some money. Oh, here comes the Gen Z women at SEC narrating their way in. No, can't open a high. At that, you know they're sweaty during COVID. 3,000 people dying a day, but at least the mall's open. See you, ladies. Email me, though. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Zoomers? Gen Z, you're beautiful. But I don't want to touch you because I don't know where you've been out there. It's like throwing a pack of hot dogs down a hallway. Biden, you know what? Anything the left wants. Universal health care. $20 minimum wage. Realized prostitution. Cure for COVID-19. $12,000 back pay. Maybe $15,000. Stimulus checks by Canada and the rest of the industrialized world. We've got more money than them. Thailand, Mexico, all of Western Europe, most of Europe. Okay, we're back in. Even Southern Africa, I mean. Okay, I'm still not going to bed yet. Legalized marijuana. You. Sorry, illegal. Everything about this video just kind of looks dingy, doesn't it? Going 20 states. Money, money. I don't give a fuck if you've only been in a day, sir. I love Lucas struggling with a mask. The left was not on Obama and Clinton, and they lost during the midterm. Democrats, put their feet to the fire. Leftists, liberals, rise up. Get on Biden now. It's because he's 80 years old. It's worth noting if it's the description is too small to read in this video. This was less than 48 hours um, after Biden's inauguration. And Lucas was mad that he had not yet cured COVID and sent out $12,000 stimulus checks to everyone. Years old doesn't mean the man's got to relax. What? Listen to Bernie what? Sanders and AOC and all the progressive the Democrats. You should Listen be sleeping. to them. Listen to the women of color, we'll the progressive again. Democrats. Listen to them. Do what they want. You're 80. Hey, hey, go hey, golf. Hey, hey. Just do what they want. And then go golf. Be beautiful. Be generous. Joe Biden, not greedy Joe Biden. What else does the left want? Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Leave it alone. Thank you. Rent forgiveness. For the past year. Free Grubhub or DoorDash for a year. Anything left on us. The United States, we can afford that. Of course he wants free food for a year. I mean, Thailand. Mexico. Western Europe. 
Western Europe's not a country. We get like twenty thousand dollars back pay because we're the United States and everybody else be getting in the world for twelve thousand and all the. Honestly, Lucas talking politics is just funny as shit because he just has no idea what he's talking about. Okay, I don't think that Kenny wants to be groomed right now. He doesn't seem to be very happy with what you're doing to him. Uh, all right, gotta go grab the dog. Grubhub and DoorDash. You can reasonably eat for six months. I somebody that enjoys DoorDash and Grubhub, I I wouldn't mind some free clinker here every week. Uh, you were at Robin on those cheap days, you know. I miss sushi. I'm not gonna get sushi at a grocery store. Are you kidding me? I spend like forty dollars every time I get sushi, and I'm a poor guy with an EBT card. I get a little bit of money just for having bipolar. Trying to get a job. If you want, pay me fifty dollars and I'll bully your bullies. Be there like motherfucker. Why do you sneer at her? The hell is he yelling about? Yeah. Anyway, I had to step away for a minute. The out of the four cats I have, the the little black kitten is the dog's favorite, and he's always bringing that little cat toys. Trying to shove toys in his face, trying to play with him, trying to wrestle with him. But what he really likes to do is groom him. And sometimes the cat doesn't like to be groomed. Um, and in that case, the dog will use his um, size advantage and just very gently pin this poor cat down and start grooming him. Um, so we stop that because, you know, the dog kind of has to learn, like, hey, when the cat is making this particular noise, he doesn't like what you're doing and you need to stop. Uh, so I put his favorite cat in the bedroom for now so he doesn't have anybody to bother. Except me and the other cat. $50 over cash app, where's my other video? Ah. I wonder how mad Lucas would be to know that I got 10 bucks over cash app to just like sit here and replay his old shit and make fun of him. Shutdown! Endorsements! Advertising! $50. Love letters. $50. I'll do your podcast for $100. I'll answer one question for three to five minutes. So for $100, he'll do three minutes of work. $50. I love how he's using <laughs> his mask is up over his eyes. Anyway, I was going to say, I love how he's using a really specifically racist uh, voice there to prove that he can voice that. Sure, you don't got money. Biden, give us some money, bro. Okay. Yeah, and I wasn't even begging for money. Lucas begs for money and gets jack shit. But of course, I'm sure once he sees this, he'll bring it up like, oh, I got paid $100 to be on the geek room and somebody... Gave me DoorDash for clinker daggers, and that was worth like fifty dollars. And then somebody paid me ten dollars to insult her cats, and uh, just god damn it! I wonder if all those people are super happy that Lucas deleted his channel because that means that uh, they deleted the videos that they had paid for. Uh, so I hope he's uh, giving people refunds, or at least sent people the originals so they could use the videos that they paid for. I don't think he did that though. He's not smart enough. The left. Wants to say that. back there, puppy. And Democrats are there like, no, no. He's only been for he's a bothering day. kitty? Yeah, oh. Hey. Hey. That's the cat that's got big claws and will hurt you. You probably don't want to wrestle him. You know, or maybe you do. It's up to you. Obama and Clinton lost the midterms. We got to get on this motherfucker now. Just because he's 80 don't mean he can... Honestly, I just love watching Lucas struggle to keep a mask on his face. Sleep. Sleepy Joe Biden? Don't be sleepy greedy, Joe Biden. A president. I hate it when he does voices, especially accent voices. Like I'd say who told him he was good at that, but one of the people who did was me. So it's partially my fault. So I have to pay for it by listening to it. It'd be over. Yeah, what did that mean? You're scaring the hell out of me, man. Yeah, Lucas yelling at his old roommate. So it's like, 
after two in the morning, and this has been going on for like four fucking hours, and I should probably at least let my dog go to bed if I'm not going to. I should actually probably go to bed too, because he's going to be awake at six whether I am or not, which means I'm going to be awake at six whether I want to be or not. So, yeah, as I figured, that totally like went off the rails from the initial Lucas went viral for a Starbucks thing. Yeah, I'm just going to scroll and you can all see what I'm doing. That's a terrible picture of Lucas. All pictures of Lucas are terrible. Oh, I want to watch that one now. Um, shit, what was the title of that one? Where he's doing that, what the fuck do you think I want, motherfucker? And he's making that weird chipmunk face. Ah, what was that? I don't remember the name of that one. I'll go to a different browser so I can do some searching. Otherwise, I'm just going to find other shit I want to look at, and I specifically want that one. What in the... I don't even remember the title of that one. Yeah, I know. The, I hate that too. I know the video and I don't remember the title. And it was it was was it was this his last Motel Six stint? I think it might have been his last Motel Six stint. Uh, maybe I can find it if I look at the thumbnails. So this is my own place, so we're not far enough back. That's one of the hotel ones, but I don't think he had his excuse for a full beard. Under crying about being an incel, is it that one? Sort by popular. Oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, that is one of my favorites. This one. This looks like it might be the right one. It's not in the cards for you. Oh, uh, I think in this particular compilation, there was one about Walter, and this might be the... I don't think this is the one where he sang the song about me. I think I put that in its separate video. I'm pretty good at insults, and I got the internet and a lot of free time. That's a bad angle. He looks like oh, he's all shoulders. Don't fuck me at all, because I'm black, nigga. I'm black. That wasn't what I was expecting as an opener. Yeah, okay. You just show up at any party and be black. And you have like five pussies that day. Oh, I, nobody ever fucked me. I don't think it works that way. I'm well, fine. We'll open with a little racism. See, because uh, I'm a liberal. Meanwhile, you just show up with a car. Liberals don't have cars. White boy. I mean, I have a car, but it's not really an impressive car. I mean, I could lie and just say Cadillac, and that sounds impressive, but it's a really fucking old Cadillac that's falling apart and has a lot of major system failures. I'm basically holding together with wishes at this point because it's paid off and I'm cheap. Hey, hey, what are you doing to that cat? Don't chase the cat. And you get all the fucking hypocrites. But then I show up at your pool. And I'm 20 years older. Oh, yeah, like you know bigotry. Fuck you, Gen Z. But I'll be at that party. I'll be like walking up to your women. Your you won't be at that party because you ain't ever getting an invite to that party. Nobody would ever invite you to a party unless it was to make you the donkey they were pinning the tail on. Because, no, you're not a misogynist as you're all done. Yeah. yeah, fuck these bitches o'clock. You're not a misogynist. Fuck these bitches a clock? Is that what he said? I mean, it is true. He does have the internet and a lot of free time. Fifteen minutes, I'd have her fucking phone number. Well, fifteen minutes, I'd be hitting that puss puss if you had the <laughs> balls to invite me to your... What kind of fucking 41-year-old man says puss puss? This is the video where he says puss puss. He just said it. Here. I'll go back and listen to it again. 
<laughs> well, 50 minutes, I'd be hitting that puss puss if you had the balls to invite me to your party. Oh, you're going to be class as an age phobic. Well, complaining about, oh, I never get pussy because I'm a liberal. I never get pussy because I'm black, nigga. Dude, I'm a leftist. I don't give a fuck about your normative value. Puppy, leave him alone. I'll be there and I'll hit that puss puss. And I'll get that phone number. And I'll be scoping the babes at your party. Because I'm Gen X. And not you're how Gen it works. Z. It's not how it works. But no, you're going to bitch about bigotry. Oh, yeah? You invited me to your parties. Oh, Bernie, but you're classist. Biden, but you're unkind. Christian, but it's all about money and how much pussy you can get. God, I hate his pube beard. Uh huh. Put the honeys there, and I'm a player. <clears throat> Keep all the hotties for yourself. Well, then see you later. I don't know, Dude. you know. I like to read like, statistics. He's just eating off of the bed sheets at a hotel. Like, just fucking gross, dude. I guess I'm boring in that way. You I are boring. Know what's going on in the world. Hey, puppy. Knock it off. I like to know facts and figures and data. I like what's real. I don't like the fake bullshit. This fucking stupid world. Give me reality over your little fairy fuck tales and fictions. But I stumbled across some statistics today that were interesting. And it said that most crime is committed by men, white men. Well, let's just go to men. Religious men between 18 and 24 years old. So whether you're a Satanist or a Christian or Hindu. Somehow watching him eat without seeing his face is even more disgusting. Whatever. Most crime is committed by people who are religious. Citation needed. And most crime is committed by religious people that are male between the ages of 18 and 24. Maybe you should avoid the religious because they're going to bring you down to a world of hurt. Maybe you shouldn't eat off of a Motel 6 bed sheet. Maybe you should avoid males between 18 and 24 if you want a successful life. Yeah. Okay, so let's say you wanted to have a communist revolution. You let's say I don't care because this music is terrible. Is that what Take too long. Here it is. With my ass. What the fuck would I like? Actually, I think um, we all kind of figured out he was talking about and or to Isaac um, in this one. Why don't you do that? What do you think I'd want out of life? Your cock up my ass? He's not gay. You think you're my dad or something, motherfucker? Okay. Fucker? Huh? Where the pussy at? Why are you being such a bitch? You gotta talk some shit because you're a little bitch? Lucas calling anyone a little bitch is just one of my favorite things. Nah, dude. You're Generation Z. You said that you're a... Yeah, he's talking about Isaac here. Oh, uh, I know he's not talking about Walter because Walter's a millennial. A generous generation. Oh, oh, really? As long as I provide you with weed and, and food you're just gonna take advantage of my kindness and then go hit that pussy right yeah he's definitely doing a voice because unfortunately i am one of the about like five or six people who thought it would be funny to encourage him uh to try to voice that thing because he has a really good voice um apologies for being part of that because actually not apologies for it because i'm gonna get shit like this and it's hilarious you boy where the pussy at motherfucker why the fuck would i hang out with your ass you gonna pretend to be my father or something 
the fuck, motherfucker? What the fuck do you think I would want? Look, I don't, I don't mind being your friend, but there are women in this world, motherfucker. What the fuck do you think I want? To fucking sit on some cocks? I mean, for somebody who doesn't want to sit on some cocks, he sure talks about sitting on cocks a lot. Um, it's the observation there. Listen, I got no problem with gay people. If you want to mm-hmm. sit on some cocks, you, you go right ahead. But I have a right to be a heterosexual. You know what I'm saying? You're not heterophobic, are you? Jesus Christ, there's no such thing as heterophobic, you stupid fat fuck. What the fuck do you think I'd want, motherfucker? Just cram some 18-year-old dicks up my rectum? You know, he keeps saying that, so yeah, I assume that's exactly what he wants. Some 18-year-old dicks up his ass. He said it like three times now. Huh? Like you're my father or something? You think you're just going to come up with some advice? What the fuck you think I'd want, dumb folk? Pussy. Who the fuck is that a problem? Why the fuck is that a problem? Oh, what a fuck 18-year-old pussy and maybe, like, put a ring on it one day. You got- it's never going to happen. You're going to criticize me, you little classes punk? Oh, capitalism is your fucking stoke job? Yeah, what the fuck do you think I'd want, motherfucker? Oof. Dollar store Steve Buscemi. Balls up it on my ass? Probably, considering how often he's mentioned dicks up his ass, I'd imagine he'd want some balls in on that play, too. What the fuck do you think I'd want? <laughs> look at his fucking face. Just look, just stick. St- Sit there and look at his face. He's been banned from FetLife twice already. (laughs) I owe you something, boy. Do I owe you something? (laughs) What the fuck are these faces? No, nope, you are going to look at the screen and you are going to look at this, <laughs> at this face. Ah! Those are some really overcooked takeout peppers. Puppy, what are you doing? As long as he's got money, I'll date him. That is such an overcooked pepper. Oh, my God. I hate you, Democrats. I hate you, Republicans. Like, it's overcooked to the point of being so rubbery you can't cut it with a plastic knife. Like, oh, how do you... I hope he didn't pay much for that takeout, because if I paid for that and my pepper showed up that overcooked and rubbery, fuck that. I would be... Nope. I would just walk my ass down to the restaurant to return it. You know, Bernie Sanders, he was for the people. I want to watch him eat this nasty pepper. How long is he going to be eating this nasty pepper? He's getting against the money. Oh, he's eating this nasty pepper for the rest of the video. No, no. He might not be a Bernie Sanders supporter. No, that's gross. That's gross. I don't give a fuck if you're an atheist, a Jew, a Christian, or a Hindu, as long as you're moral and nice to me. What the hell is this one? This is one of the older new ones. You just like eating out of a plastic salad bowl on the floor. Oh, that bowl is so stained. Like, I get that plastic stains, but. Yeah, that was during the COVID one. The fuck is he doing to that ramen?
Well, there's your daily intake for salt. Yeah, just throw the garbage on the floor, man. Who cares? Get a fucking broom. Oh, what is this? One flavor packet. One. One flavor packet equals. What? One flavor packet equals telomerase of one person under the age of 35. So it's just like really fucking high in sodium and that's it. The fuck does this even mean? Look at though, his handwriting is actually neat and not like Parkinson's level looking the way it is now. I mean, depending on how much water you add to might not be too much. I don't even actually use the packets. I just buy it for the cheap noodles and like season it myself because I make a better broth than what you could get from a packet. But I also know how to cook, so. Is he just like wasting a thing of ramen? I hate the way he dumps out the ramen packets. I really do. It's just like unacceptably wrong somehow. Yeah, I don't really use the seasoning packets either. I just kind of add my own, depending on kind of what flavors I'm going for. Or sometimes I'll just make the noodles and eat them, you know, noodles. Throwing the noodles in there. Is he even going to cook this? Oh, Christ, another note. Two flavor packets plus two ramens equal age gap relationship where the man is over 35 and the woman is at least 11 years younger and in the most fertile range of 11 or under 26 when the relationship begins. What? No, it's. If the ramen are supposed to be people, and the powder packet's supposed to be fucking telomerase, the indication is that they just both still have the same amount of telomerase either way, because if you've got two noodles and two things of it, you, you can't, there's not, you didn't use enough noodles to make your analogy work, you stupid motherfucker. Just, I'm, look, I got D's in most of my math classes because I have problems with numbers, but your, your analogy is stupid and it doesn't work. He, he could do an incel cookbook and try to sell his horrid recipes. Why is he putting his notes on the noodles? Oh, Jesus Christ. Put it back and lay it down. Like, why did he even cut it that weird? Oh, my God. He's so... Too much telomerase can cause depression, anger, stress, and... Maybe I have too much, oh no, I don't have too much telomerase, I've just been drinking. Fathers under 35 lead to telomere attrition, your kids, and your kids, like with inbreeding, every model, oh, every medial, every medical, there we go, problem known to science is tied to telomere attrition, it legitimately is not. You're just a stupid motherfucker. Hi hey, puppy, did you find your toy? Okay, we've read the shitty note. Oh, there's another one. Don't you think it's time to leave behind males under 35? No, thank you. Oh, there's another one. Just make your stupid soup. Oh, look at this. Look how filthy this is. There's one person living there. 
Oh my god, it's so filthy. Just nasty. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. You don't have fans here. People are laughing at you. Okay, well, I'm going to stop, like, going through his <laughs> disgusting old videos and probably go to bed because now the dog is actually waking up, um, which isn't great. I'd rather he go back to sleep, so I probably have to work on making that happen. And this has been going on, like, way too fucking long, and it's, like, 2.40 in the morning here. So I'm going to go and leave you all with the memories of having to watch Lucas eat. Oh uh, yeah, the grease spot. Um, the grease spot was in the place he got after the Phoenix House one, and he claims it was there when he moved in, which is like a total fucking lie. I gotta put something gross of Lucas up on the screen before I leave. Let me find an ugly one. Let me find an ugly one. <laughs> Just take my fucking pick. There we go. This has some good ones. There. That's the image you get to go to bed with. That right there. His nasty little rib tongue, his crooked, scrunchy nose, and his leather eyes. Good night. That will be that will be the last image you see before sleep. Actually, Rages and Intel is a great set of uh, great set of rants that you should definitely go watch. Anyway, yep. Yeah, night. Thanks for staying for four and a half fucking hours while I ramble. Right. <laughs>